All right. And with that, we are live. What is going on, everyone? Uh, real quick, he's going to do invites here, so give me one second, ladies and gents. Alrighty, with that, we will say hello to everyone that is currently here uh, at this time. Uh, hello to Kippy, hello to Jinjos, and hello to Heckman. How is everyone doing this evening? Alrighty, with that, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the Gaming Beatdown here tonight with another edition of TGBD Sports as we are here continuing. More of our NHL 22 franchise mode of the New Jersey Devils. That's right. Uh, last time, we did two more years into our uh, franchise mode. Uh, years 20 and 21. And uh, they were both pretty good years, all things considered. Uh, we made them, made both of them back into the playoff picture, which is great. And uh, both appearances in the Cup Final, yes. Uh, in year 20, however, we did win the Stanley Cup. Uh, however, in year 21... We crawled back into uh, the finals, uh, being down three games to one. But unfortunately, we did not end up winning uh, the cup that time. We uh, ended up losing in seven games in the cup finals. So we weren't able to go back to back, but uh, maybe we can actually uh, uh, continue making a good team here to maybe get back there for a third year in a row here. But uh, we have some contracts that we got to re-sign here. Because uh, uh, we won't be able to afford everybody to keep everybody around here. So uh, we'll have some decisions that we'll need to make here uh, for who we keep and uh, who we are uh, releasing and trading a lot, trading off just to make cap space and such. So, uh, so yeah, we do have some decisions that we got to make when it comes to um, who we're going to have on our roster. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the plan for today. So today we're going to continue a few more seasons here for our franchise mode. Uh, depending on how f fast some seasons go, will depend how many seasons we will do today. Because uh, yeah, we're going to try just to aim for a 12 p.m. or 12 p.m. 12 a.m. Uh, ending time tonight. So tonight's stream's going to try to aim for four hours. Last time we went for five, just because, like I said, yeah, we uh, ended up doing back-to-back uh, -back very long seasons and such. So. Um, so depending on how, like I said, depends on how long playoff runs go, uh, really depends on how long I stream basically. So, um, so hopefully we'll, uh, we can have quick seasons, but, uh, it just depends because if our team is very good, we'll be making playoffs, uh, multiple, multiple times and depends, uh, if, uh, simulation goes my way, we either win the whole thing or we go far and then get eliminated. So, uh, or we just get eliminated early on and such. So we'll have to wait and see how this will go. So, yeah. Uh, but before we get underway with today's stream, uh, got to quickly promote an event that comes to you live Friday, October 14, 2022. It is my 11-year anniversary stream, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. I will be celebrating 11 years of casting here on Twitch on that day. And throughout the show, there's going to be a bunch of stuff that's going to be happening throughout the show, such as the viewing of the highly anticipated Top 50 Moments video. As we look back at the best 50 moments that happened in the past year of casting, along with five honorable mentions that also happened as well. There will be some news and announcements regarding the channel as well, along with our, the, our award show poll winners that you guys can vote for right now. The polls are all open right now. You guys can vote for them. And, um, yeah, you can vote uh, every 24 hours on all the categories. So make sure to vote daily to get what you have a chance to winning. And uh, you have until the 13th of October at 11.59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to vote. So make sure to vote as much as you can by then. And once again, the anniversary show comes to you live uh, October 14, 2022 at 10 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern as we celebrate 11 years of freaking amazingness. All right. So with that being said, we are good to go. So let's get today's stream underway shall we yes as we continue on with our angel 22 franchise mode yes and for those of you if you watched the archive last time i apologize if there was no audio nobody mentioned to me that there was no audio playing in the background 
Uh, so I had no idea because I didn't I actually was not even wearing my headset uh, just because for this game I don't really tend to wear it just because uh, I'm not really the one playing I'm just I'm basically just uh, navigating menus and just watching AI playing in overtime and such so I had zero clue that there was even any audio so that's my bad on that so um, but I have made sure today that there is audio so audio is currently playing um, so we should have no issues when it comes to that department so yeah um, but yeah, so like I said, we're going to continue on with our franchise mode here. And like I said, last time we did two seasons. And uh, the first season we did last time, we ended up winning the Stanley Cup for the third time in this file. And then we made it back to the Cup final again the year right after. But unfortunately, we ended up dropping in seven games in the final against the Predators. So we did not end up winning the Cup that time. But the cool thing is, is that we went back to back years uh, in the Cup final. But now we have uh, stuff we have to take care of here because we have... A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of expiring contracts, as you can see right here. And uh, thing is, though, is we only have uh, 21 or, or 29, 29.102 mil of cap space to spend. So we don't really have too much really to work with, really. So we got a lot of a uh, lot, a lot of prospects, I guess you could say. Um, but there are some players on the main roster that um, we will need to resign for sure. So. Um, yeah, so we'll see how this is going to go for sure. So, because I know for sure we won't be able to sign everybody. So, hopefully, maybe we can, but we will see. So, uh, I know this guy we will not be resigning because he was only here just for this year. Um, he's still asking for a lot. I was looking at before the stream how much people are wanting and such. So, yeah, so we'll have to make some decisions on that. Um, we also have a player that's um, not really happy with us, really. I'm trying to find where he is. He is signed, but he's taking up a lot of our cap. I think he's a right winger. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right here. Yeah, so here he is right here. We might move him at the um, at the draft just to get something for him. Just so that we open up cap space and whatnot. Because yeah, he's taking up 5 mil of cap. So if we can get rid of him, that gives us like 34 mil in cap space to work with. So we're going to try to do that. So uh, we're not going to sign anybody right now. Well, actually, you know what? We will sign one player. We're going to sign a bomb gardener first, I think. We're going to sign him. Um, we'll get him for like 6.2 mil. We'll see if he uh, if he takes that because uh, if he takes that, that's huge because, uh, yeah, he's a player that we'd like to keep around here. Um, Sealy will like to try to sign as well, but um, he's going to be asking a lot. So I, I kind of want to open up my cap space a little bit more so then I can throw money his way and such because, yeah, he's going to take a, a whole chunk of that cap space. Uh, LaRock is one needing a contract, too. Um, if you can get him for a little cheaper, that would be kind of nice. But uh, just because he's all 27 years old, he's at 81, and uh, yeah, he's kind of like a third, fourth liner at best. So we're going to try to see if we can get him for less. Um, yeah, there's, like I said, there's players we still got to sign and pick who we're signing and whatnot. So we have some decisions we got to make here, but... Uh, um, but, but the draft is coming up, thankfully, so we can probably make some um, some moves and such so we can uh, sign a lot of our players that we want to bring back and such. So, yeah. Uh, we will sign up a, uh, sim a few days here. Uh, okay. Looks good. Um, yep. So, okay. So, he signed there. So, that's good. That is good to see. Um, all right. So... Let's take a look at the draft here. So Seattle wins the draft. They went from 8 to 1. The Islanders stay the same. Vancouver drops from 1 to 3. Uh, Washington drops from 3 to 4. Uh, Vancouver via Edmonton. Uh, dang, they get a two top five picks. That's that's pretty crazy. Um, Ottawa goes from 5 to 6. San Jose goes from 6 to 7. Uh, Rangers go from 7 to 8. Chicago stays the same. Pittsburgh stays the same. Florida stays the same. Winnipeg stays the same. Dallas stays the same. Toronto stays the same. Minnesota stays the same. And Philadelphia stays the same. All right. So there's that. Uh, we will sim a day here. Um, and then we'll sim one more day here because this will be the draft if he's here. So we'll get retirements here. We'll see who retires. And uh, do we have anybody that will be retiring for us? Yes, we got a few players here. Uh, okay, Connor Bedard will retire after this year. Yeah, so he ends up retiring uh, after we traded him uh, this past trade deadline. So he ends up ended up retiring overall. So there he goes. He ends up retiring. Oh, and uh, yeah, he was there for two of our cups uh, early on in this file. 
And yeah, he, he basically spent most of his years as a devil until his last year getting traded to uh, the Buffalo Sabres there where he uh, couldn't do too much after that. What was his playoffs supposed to Yeah, he had no points in the playoffs, yeah. Yeah, he started to decline tremendously uh, after a few years. So, yeah, it was best to move on from him and such. So, yeah, but yeah, Connor Bedard ends up retiring after this season here. Uh, okay, I got to take Zeke Slavowski. Oh, the guy that went first overall in the actual draft here, hey? There he is there. Did he even make the NHL? He made, he did make it. All right. He didn't do anything too special, looks like, so. There's that. Um, we have Kinkade retires. Okay. So we did have somebody that did retire for us there. Odulia, Quinville, Helen. Okay. Uh, nah, a lot of lot of just names that don't really exist in NHL anymore nowadays. So there's that. Uh, goaltenders. Uh, Varlama. I think we actually drafted this guy too. Yeah. Sergei Varlamov, yeah, so he used to play for us. How many years did he play for us? All right, yeah, that's right. He was a Flames goalie, and then we traded him from Calgary. Had him for a couple of years, and then we moved on from him, and yeah, that was that. So, yeah, there's that. Oland, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it when it comes to that, so. Yeah, so, yeah, again, a lot of just no-name players and whatever. Just generic names or whatever. Uh, did we have anybody that retired here for us? We did. We did have a coach retirement in Utica. So we'll have to uh, deal with that uh, at some point here. The following uh, scouts retired from my team. Okay, so we have two scouts that retired. So we need to get a new WHL and OHL scout. So i got to rem remember that. I'm actually going to write that down here just to make sure. Just to remember that. Okay. Um, let's go to the draft class real quickly here. And uh, there's a uh, right winger franchise player there. Dang, a franchise uh, right winger. Hey, that's crazy. That is crazy. And then there's also this guy right here. He's a left wing. Interesting. 7 and 12. That's his points. Brigforce only 8 and 21. That's interesting. <laughs> For a franchise. Uh, player he only makes that many points that's actually kind of interesting <laughs> very interesting that he only makes that uh, he's only made that many points three and twelve this guy had the most points out of anybody in the uh this this draft here <laughs> harold paco that's a good name all right but uh i believe we have a first round pick but we are drafting pretty low into this draft i'm pretty sure yeah we're like 30 one, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, this we'll have to see what the hell is even over here, really. Ooh, Gord Farmer is NHL ready, apparently. Maybe I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll interview this guy, see if he's actually that. You know what? Does he fit us? He does. So let's let's talk to him real quickly here. I'll talk to this guy, G Gord Farmer, indeed. <laughs> what a what a name. Is there more Canadian name than that? I know. But I think it said he was an American. I could be wrong on that, though. What's up, Cross, by the way? Alright. Let's see here. Uh, shooting and physical. Okay. And let's see if he's actually NHL ready like it says there. I'm going to say he's probably not. But that three bars is tempting to know. Uh, NHL ready here. Let's see. I think I'm ready. Oh, he is ready to make an impact now. Okay, so he is an NHL ready player. Dang, we could actually pick up an NHL ready player at our spot, which is kind of crazy. So he might be pretty damn good. All right, that's interesting. 30-43, that's actually pretty damn damn good. Yeah, we might... And, he, and he's comparison to Olin Nolan. All right, so he's got a heavy slap shot, basically, is what they're saying. All right, so we're going to keep an eye on that guy. Also, what's up, Angel and uh, Billy as well? Uh, yeah, he's an American player too. Yeah, yeah, he is an American. Ain't another NHL ready player. Damn. Okay. Let's uh, interview this guy real quickly here. We've got a lot of NHL ready players here. At uh, at this point, and this guy's 17 as well. That's tempting, actually. Uh, new topic. Let's 
see. Uh, play style. Readiness. Let's see. He's ready to make an impact now. Damn. Okay. This this is a crazy draft. I gotta go and say, because <laughs> this guy is gonna be a second round pick, and he's already NHL ready. So that is uh, that's interesting. And he's a gem as well. One year off. Okay. Okay. We may need to try to draft this guy here, maybe, because I think he fits us. Yeah, yeah, he does, yeah. We may need to do that. Five years off, okay. Two years, three, two, three. Okay. Interesting. There's another gem right there. Uh, a beret. Oh, yes. Is he a sniper? Two way forward, okay. <laughs> Interesting. We'll look at him as well. Uh Interesting. Who's this guy? Nothing on this guy. Let's actually talk to this guy. We don't know anything on this guy. Because our scout retired, so I, yeah, we don't know much on this guy. <laughs> At all, so I'm going to interview him. Mario Despreez. So he's shooting his strength, and physical is his weakness. Alright. Uh, let me look at his uh, NHL readiness here. Uh, let's see. He needs a few seasons. Okay, so he's not any chill already at all. Didn't think so. Alright, interesting. Okay. We'll see what the hell there is here in this draft here. Um, alright. Let's advance a day. That's fine. Alright. Head to the entry draft. See who wants to trade here. Okay. Nobody really wants to trade here, eh? That's crazy. Uh, second round, maybe? Oh, Vancouver wants to trade there. Um, let's see if Vancouver wants to move, take a player from me. Let's see. Uh, first of all, right winger. Uh, Pax Boo. Okay. They don't want to take my sec. They don't want to take the second for this year, hey? Okay, maybe we can make something work with Vancouver here. So let's let's uh, let's try something here. All right, Vancouver. Are you willing to trade for your second for this year? Yes, they are willing to give that up. Uh, Pax Poo. Where are you? Uh, right winger, right? Yeah, Pax Poo. Okay. It's actually even. It looks actually kind of even, actually. Dang, okay. Yeah, I'll do that, yeah. Alright, so that op not only does that open cap space for us, but we actually get a, a pretty high second. We can try to draft that other NHL ready defenseman, too. So, kind of works out in the end. I would say. Uh, we're going to step up to draft pick number 31 here. And uh, we are going to go with uh, Gord Farmer. That'll be our guy. So, Gord Farmer will be our pick. And Gord Farmer is a top six medium at 80 overall. That's crazy. Damn. Damn, that's actually kind of good. Holy hell. <laughs> at 80 overall, at uh, 31 overall in the first round, that's kind of good, actually. Because, yeah, the best player in the draft it was a franchise with 82. Yeah. A lot of 67s and 70s up to that point. So that's a steal for us right there. That's actually a huge steal right there. So that's nice. Uh, let's go to the next pick here. And we, like I said, we're going to take that uh, this guy right over here because he's NHL ready apparently. So we're going to take uh, Ivan uh, Grabeshkov. Yeah, that's his name. 17-year-old defenseman. And he's a 78 overall at top four. So that's pretty good, too. So very nice. 
Very nice right there. I must say. Alright, um... Let's take a look here for a second. Um... Anything... Player-wise? Let's see, uh... Who was I look? Oh yeah, Kemal, yeah. Let's see if I can get anything for him. A six? That's probably about it. Yeah, yeah. Most likely just a six round pick. Yeah. I'll probably just let him go through free agency. <laughs> Not much I can really get for him. Hudson Graves. 86 overall. God damn. <laughs> Curious, what does he get me? Interesting. Lots of things. Right, yeah, we're not gonna not gonna trade him because we're keeping him. Alright, uh let's sim up to the 79th pick. Uh Minnesota's third for Colorado's fourth next year and a fourth for this year. Uh, sure, I'll take that. Alright, let's take a look what we got here. Four years off, four years off, four. Five, four, 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 okay. okay. Ooh, the gem there. Goalie, I think, yeah. I think that's what it is, yeah. Yeah, we'll take the goaltender, yeah, why not? Elite, nice. McFarland. That's a good name. Uh, the 130, 191. What else we got here? Anything else looking good in here? Top 4 D low. Is that confirmed? No, it's not really confirmed. Okay. Got Guy Jelena. <laughs> He's probably clutch because his name is Jelena. Ooh. Oscar Lundberg. A gamble here. No, oh, he was a top six level. Okay, yeah. Didn't think he was that good. All right. Uh. Let's see. Five years. No. Four years. Ooh, three years. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's that? Lav uh, Lavalli. Lavalli, okay. Uh, doesn't fit our scheme. But I will pick him because maybe he can be... Um, depth we can use to sell. And that's the draft. All right. So, yeah, pretty quick draft. Didn't have to do too much, but we got two... Uh, two steals that were NHL ready. So, at 31 and 33. So, can't be too upset over that. And plus, we opened up our cap space, too. All right, so we got some coaches that are needing to resign here. Uh, assistant coach. He wants to be a head coach. Okay, we're going to drop him. Um, our AHL assistant coach wants to be an assistant coach. Perfect. I will keep you around for that. What's up, Yoshi? How's it going? All right. So we need to get ourselves a new... Assistant coach in the NHL, and we need a new goalie coach, because the goalie coach retired. Yeah, okay, so we gotta get a few things there. Um, as for our scouts, we need to get a new WHL and OHL scouts, is what we need to do, because they retired. Alright, take a look at our caps, our cap, our resign phase here. So, okay, so we now have 24 mil in cap to work with, so we got some stuff we gotta do. So. Um, I would like to sign Sealy. He is asking for a lot more now, so I will try to get him for t at least 12 mil. Let's see if he takes that. Um, I'm gonna advance one day. That's a point. Okay, perfect. We only have 12 mil in cap now to spend here. All right. 
So, I did say I'm not going to sign him. Uh, this guy, right? He was 38. All right? Yeah, yeah. So, we're going to get rid of this guy. Um... How much does this guy want? Five mil. That'll be seven mil left. Bailey. It's a little bit of a lot. Larock. I'm trying to get you just slightly lower. If you can take that, that'd be nice. Um, winning. How much? How many years do you want? I try to get you. Try to lowball you just slightly here. Let's see if they take those. Okay, perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool. All right, so that gives us six mil to work with now. Okay, perfect. Now we can just deal with uh, everybody else for now. Uh, Fletcher and Tychek. Okay. Uh, one-way contract. Hmm. What are your numbers? Let's see. Interesting. Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, I'll keep Fletcher, maybe. Honestly. Keep him as our backup. Preps. Can sign. Uh, Okay. Right, let's go expiring. Make this a little easier. Dole well. Pretty good numbers, actually. Keep them in the affiliate, yeah. Uh, Yoshi. D uh, Dalton Yoshi. Not bad. Seems like he's developing pretty well, so yeah, we'll sign him. Uh, Eddie. <laughs> Trenton Eddie. Good name. Sign him. Uh, come back with that. Centers. Ooh, definitely like to sign this guy. Chiang. Huberdo. Hextall. Interesting. Yeah, we'll sign that in a bit. Right wings. Mm, gonna say no to him. It's a bit of a lot to ask for that low of an overall. Uh, Pavlik. Yeah, we'll, we'll just keep you around. A lot of seven Ds. <laughs> um, gonna pass on you, Bert Man. Pass. Gonna pass. Picky. Going to pass. Meyer. Yeah, we can keep you, I think. Yeah, you're orange, but it's better than any, like, all reds. Seabrook. Yeah, maybe we can keep you. Got a green there. Um, and then with that, we can actually uh, sign this guy. Since he's NHL ready. A defense is he? He's a two-way defender. Alright. Yeah, we will definitely sign him. Uh all expiring. Let's see. Uber Doe and Hextall. Bailey. Let's see if he takes that. That'd be actually kinda okay. Uh, who's this other left wing? Stanton. Oh, your stats. 39. Okay, that's not bad. 
We can gamble on you, maybe. Jason Stanton. The sign was uh, was Gord Farmer. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign him as well. <laughs> All right. Easy decision. Perfect. Uh, perfect. 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 Perfect, perfect. Uh, how do this team? I think it's time we go separate ways. Okay, sounds good. Then your offer is more generous. Cool, 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 cool. cool. All right. So the only player that didn't want to resign was the, was the Bailey guy. He, he just he doesn't want to be on a, our team anymore. All right. It says he's unhappy. All right, that's fine. We can re we'll release him then. All right, so with that we don't have anyone to resign, so that's good. Um, let me just check my uh, coaching staff. Yeah, that's where I want to go. Okay, our guy did resign. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you just need to get the assistant coach and the uh, the goalie coach. Then perfect. All right, let's advance a few days here. All right. Alright, uh, first off, let's go to um, hire staff and such, because we need to get a new WHL and OHL scout here. So we're going to do that real quickly. Uh, WHL, let's see what's available here. Uh, A+, plus. okay. Let's see what your stats are. Oh, B, okay. Not the best scouts there. Uh, let's go to OHL, see what there is. There's a good scout right there. Perfect. We will get you. We'll target you. And then WHL. Let's go to goaltenders, uh, prospect, discovery, and shooting. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know what? We'll take you, I think. Okay, um, coaches now, so we need an assistant coach and a goalie coach, alright. So, assistant coach for us, let's see, 69%, not bad. Nice, actually, that's actually pretty good. I think we'll take this guy, actually. Like that's seventy two percent. Perfect. Uh and then goalie coach in the AHL. There's our goalie coach, perfect. Okay, so now we can look at what we need on this team right now. <laughs> we'll have to look here. Left wing. Dang, our left wing's looking pretty stacked right there. <laughs> uh, right wing. Okay. Center core looking like we could maybe use a centerman, maybe. Let's look for that. Uh, defense. Defense is looking mighty fine. <laughs> yes, I think maybe a centerman would be fine. I think LaRock could play right wing, so we're gonna let him play that. If we'll see how he how he does. 
We also got Tons and Dobble there as depth too. So we have some depth there, but yeah, I think we might look for a centerman here in the free agency. See what there is. All right. All forward lines for Finnegana, but he, he makes 10 mil and I don't have the cap space for that. Wow, there's actually a player that still exists in the league. That's crazy. Uh, Hendry. Six mil. And I have... So I can just sign this guy, but... I don't think that would be enough, because someone will snipe him, snipe, me, snipe him from me, basically. There's a 30-year-old. Well, I'm six forward lines and all penalty kill lines. Okay. Sebastian Ajo. Not the real life Sebastian Ajo. William Eklund, eh? You're still over here? That's crazy. Daniel Ma. Koliakovo, no. McCann, no. Forward line four. Marco Nermanen. Don't know much on him. Hogland. But he's old, though. On six. Mass. Brady Foy. Where was that guy again? Let's see, where was he? Not him. Not him. Not him. Player that was like all lined, I, I could just sign him. So this guy? Four line four and all penalty goals. Oh, never mind. That wasn't, that wasn't it. Uh, bomb six, all penalty kill lines. Aho, no. Shilpila, no. Smiths, no. Ackland, no. Ma, no. No. But he, he only fits, like, the f first line, it says. I don't need that. That guy's too much. I mean, I could try signing this guy, but I don't think we'd get him. Try. See if we get him. I feel like some team is gonna snipe me for him here just because I don't have the cast space to really use uh, sign him here, so we'll see. Also, hello, cast relay. How's it going? Cool. That guy signed. That guy signed. Perfect. Uh. With the little drama? What do you mean, little drama? There's drama on this team? Not that I'm aware of. Hey, actually, he signed. Perfect. That actually worked. Perfect. He actually did sign. Perfect. That's actually kind of nice. Alright, so I don't know what else to really do. 
for contract wise or anything so I think we're fine outside of that so yeah but yeah, dang our defense is pretty pretty damn good holy crap <laughs> it's, it's kind of scary good how good our defense is actually it's kind of kind of wild uh, anyway I'm going to sim to next season because I don't know if there's really much else I need to really do. A second and Stanton for Florida's third and Ottawa's third. Are you selling? Yeah, you're a seller. That's why. Stanton, hey, you want Stanton? I'm gonna say no. Uh, third and Lad for fourth, fifth. Uh, who's Lad? Elliot Lad. I'm gonna say no. Second and lad for third. No. Uh, Pav like a fifth for a third and a fourth. Uh... Mm, I mean, that does sound tempting, but I'm gonna hold off. Second and lad. Level. 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 Yeah, no, I'm gonna pass. That's a lot to give me. So I'm gonna say no. Second that, uh, nope. 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 Uh, nope. Mm -mm. I'm good. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. Nope. Mm, nope. All right, so let's set captains in that. Let's see. Let's take a look here. Hendry 87, Dolan 88, Kopecky, yep. Yeah. Uh, Gorlu, Farmer. Oh, Farmer, hey. Eh? Okay. Um, what numbers we got available here that look good on him? He can be number 10. Yeah. All right. Uh, Tom's. Let's make him a uh, number. G43 is actually kind of good. I'll, I'll, I'll let him have that. Uh, Rebishkov. Now I'll let him have 42, actually. I think the numbers are fine. Yep. Uh, let's edit the lines here. See what they look like, and they have a plus five on the top line right there. Where's Dolan? He's on the second. All right, Farmer already on the second pairing. Hey, eh? that's crazy. All right, looking interesting. Defense, yeah, holy crap, our defense looking great. Pretty young, but that's okay. They could maybe gel. Uh, special teams. Uh, four man PP. That could probably change. Uh, penalty kill looks good. Three man PK. Okay. Power play could do some work, I think, but it is what it is. All right. He's a right winger, right? Yeah. He's a left winger. Okay, hold on a second here. What if we put you there? I thought it's only plus two. You put you there, hey? Okay. Um. Try it. We'll see what it's like. All right, done. All right, we'll sim to the first day of the regular season, and we'll see uh, how we do here. And yes, he does quack. Uh oh, nine game trial. 
Oh, sorry. I mean... I meant to say, uh... I meant to say I agree. Alright, uh... That's what I meant. I meant that's what I meant to say. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Let's see how we do in the preseason here. All right, so far so good. Yeah, six one and zero in the preseason. That's pretty good. All right. All right. So it's time for the 2042-43 season. We're coming back after back-to-back -back appearances in the Cup Final. Unfortunately, the last season we unfortunately uh, lost in seven games. Uh, but the year before that, we won the Cup. So we're seeing if we can make it back there for the third year in a row here. Uh, but it might be a little bit more difficult. But we'll see if we can definitely do it as we uh, open up the season against the team we beat for the Cup two seasons prior, and now it's the Kings. So, all right, so it's a rematch from two seasons ago's cup file here. So let's uh, simulate and uh, see how our first game of the regular season goes. Hopefully it goes pretty darn well. And uh, we are losing. All right. <laughs> Not ideal. Not ideal, but uh, hopefully... Uh, we can bounce back from that. Long power play, and we we get short. We get a goal scored against us. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. We have a lot of shots, but we cannot put one in the net. There. Hope that's not a concern. All right, third period. Cannot seem to score a goal. That's 3 nothing now for them. Damn. And yeah, we can't score a goal. <laughs> it seems. We cannot seem to put the puck in the back of the nets. And uh, we get shut out in our first game of the season. That's not ideal. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well. We'll see how it goes here. Maybe it's just a slow start, but... Maybe they'll wake up the next few games here, so. Alright, we're going to sim up to January 1st. And we'll see where we're at here. Okay. We lose, okay. 0-3 to start the year, not great. Uh, who's this guy? I'm going to decline this guy. 0-4 to start the year, alright. 0-5, 0-6 to start the year. All right, we are struggling right off the bat right here. Don't know why, but all right. All right, there's our first win. Okay, we finally got one. Uh, Graham McInnes. Uh, I don't know much on him, so I'm going to decline. I'm not happy with this team's performance. I agree. Improve our team or make a coaching change. Get some help on the forward group, maybe. All right, so let's see. All right, hold up. See if there's anything that we can do to help here. I don't know why we're we were oh, really bad starting. We shouldn't be this shouldn't be starting this bad. That's kind of wild. Let's get this Brad. <laughs> What's up, Chrissy? Oh, you changed your name, Chrissy Nian. <laughs> How's it going, by the way? Alright, let's see what's available here. Let's 
actually uh, sort by overall here. I did, yeah. <laughs> I, I, was, I, I took a second, I was like, wait, something looks different. And yeah, what was your name? Uh, all penalty killing, no. Okay, and tired. I feel that. It's kind of in me, too. <laughs> I feel that. This guy doesn't fit anything for us. That's us, so nothing there. He makes eight mil. Oof. We need a top six, not bottom six. Uh, that's defense. Nothing really available right now. It is still early in the season, so. It's not much early there, so gonna have to wait a little bit. Maybe we'll maybe maybe the team will find a groove going here. Or not. Up uh as an update on your current promise. Okay. Uh given the circumstances of Gord being injured, I get that you can't fulfill your promise anymore. I agree. You got injured, hey, that's unfortunate. I'll get a win right there. Another win, all right. A loss, a win, okay. Another win, all right. Okay. It's upset you broke your promise. I'm confident the team can turn it around. I think you're honest, we need to step up. This is, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Go rally the troops. <laughs> all right. An overtime loss. Uh, I'm sorry of how I'm playing out there. Oh boy. Uh, I'll persuade him. My goodness. <laughs> so what's up, Zach? How's it going, by the way? Uh, I want to speak about my ice time concerns. Uh, I'll persuade. Maybe he'll be okay with it. Uh, okay, maybe we can find... Uh, I'll see if we can change lines here so you can play more. A win there. Sorry if I'm playing out there. God dang. <laughs> Persuade. Oh my god. Everyone has no confidence right now. I don't know why. I want to speak my ice. I was about to fix your ice time concerns. <laughs> just calm down. I literally was just about to change, uh, fix that. Give me one second. If, ever, if, this, if this game will just give me like a chance here, I will. I will fix that. Oh my god! Now you're complaining about how you're playing out there. So why should I give you ice time concerns then? Ah, <sighs> uh, my god. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Just give me like one second here, game. I just want to like you know fix some lineups and all that here. Give me one second. <laughs> all right. Let's see. Where is he? He's all the way at the bottom pair here. I'll put you all the way up here. Yeah, we'll try that out. We'll try these pairings out. See, maybe this will help. Okay. Uh, January first. All right. Here we go. Okay. Uh, Whitting and fifth for third and Jay Thornton. Is it Joe Thornton? Probably not. Wood line two. How much are you making? 2.6, hey? Okay. And how much you got? You got one year left in your contract. He only fits one line, so I'm gonna say. Hmm. That's 
Blizzard's next year, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, nah. Nah, nah, I'm good. Happy you kept your promise. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, we got a couple wins right there. All right. Another win. Nice. There you go. All right, we're kind of starting to get getting it going here, so that's good. There we go. <laughs> it was just a slow start. All right, so we're 19, 12, and 2 to start the year after a really whatever the hell that was kind of start that was, so... Yeah, so, yeah. Um, anyway, let me just take a look at point-wise here. Yeah, a lot of our players not producing too well right now, but hopefully things will change here. Uh, Sealy at 27, Benson 25, Gorlu at 23, Lang at uh, 21, Mercier at 20, Johansson at 19, Kopecky at 18, Bumgarner at 17, Farmer at 16, uh, Winning at 16, Graves at 16, Hen uh, Hendre at 15, Toms at 11, uh, Mayorov at 11, Palin, uh, Palin at 11, uh, Riaz at 7, uh, Grebeshkov at 6, Bloomstrand at 5, Dolan at 3. Uh, he's struggling a bit this year. Uh, yeah, that's that. Um, goaltenders are probably struggling as well. Let me just see. Actually, Brodzik's doing alright, all things concerned. 917, but our backup is not having the best time. It looks like Fletcher is doing better. So I don't know why he's down there and he's up here. But it is what it is, unfortunately. But uh, all things considered, Brodzik's actually doing pretty well. That's good to see. Very nice. All right. He's holding the fort. <laughs> As he always does. All right. So let's uh, keep it going. Going up against Edmonton, we lose. Calgary, we beat them. San Jose, we lose. Islanders, we win. Edmonton, we lose. Philadelphia, we win. Ottawa, we win. Columbus, we win. Carolina, we win. All right. Toronto, we win. Pittsburgh, we lose in overtime. Toronto, or, or, Tampa, we lose in over, or we win. Phoenix, we win. Uh, Carolina, we lose. Uh, it's going too fast. Um, winning and Stanton for Sweet, Prokhorkin, and a seventh. Okay, hold on. A second. Let me see. Sweet's an H heller. He fits nothing. Broco Horkin. All penalty kill lines. Uh, that's seventh round pay. Ah, I'm gonna hold off on that actually. Toronto, we beat them. Uh, the Buffalo Sabres fire their coach. We lose to the Rangers. Uh, second in Stanton for Schmaltz and a fourth. Who's Schmaltz? Okay. Maybe we'll do that. Winning a third for Sweet and Proko Horgan, we're gonna decline that. Okay. Good luck in Fazzy, by the way. Yes, indeed, good luck. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty much thinking I'm gonna probably lose though. <laughs> this is how it is. Uh winning in a second for Hogland, a fifth and this other guy. Let's see, let's see. What we what we got here. Fits all forward lines. Ooh. You know what? Maybe we'll do that. Uh, Lundberg and a third for long. Okay, let's see here. A lot of just random trades here. 34. And then you're just a prospect, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna do that. All right, so we're 35, 22, and four. Uh, we're a little bit behind in the division, but we're in the third part, uh, 
third spot in the division right now, which is nice, but uh, this team still could be better personally. So let me just take a look at the point wise here, what we're looking at here. So yeah, Sealy at 52 points, uh, Benson at 48, Gro uh, Gro uh, Gorlu at 48, Baumgartner at 44, Hogland, uh, since joining us, has three points. Okay. Mercy at 40. Johansson at 39. Lang at 35 points. Not having the best year this year, unfortunately. Kopecky at 31. Farmer at 29. Hendry at 27. Graves at 26. Mayorov at 23. Palin at 20. Arias at 20. Tom's at 19. At Negrin at 11 points, but one point for us since joining us. Uh, Grab Grebeshkov at 11. Dolan at 9. Bloomstrand at 9. Larock at 0 points. Alright. Um, and then for goaltenders at the moment, let's see, uh, Brodzik at 33, 16, 4, and 4 with a 908, so I can't be disappointed with how he's been playing. He's still in the 900s, that's good to see. Um, yeah, there's that. Alright, so let's advance today. We're in at the trade deadline. We're gonna be a conservative buyer, because we've kind of sold, bought a lot already. So I don't know what else to really, uh, buy. Yeah, I guess trade value is very low. 17 million contract. Holy crap. That's a that's a big contract right there. God damn. And how many years? One le year left on it. Holy hell, that's 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 a hell of a contract. 17 million. That is uh, that's something. Let me see here. Cuz our because Benson's all is up there. I wonder if anyone's willing to take him. Do the same thing we did last year with uh with what's his name? Um Bedard. Trade him and get better players out of it. Not much really there. A lot of seconds from Vegas, but that's really about it. Let's see what there's available for us. Yeah, just for center line at least. I saw your offense is pretty hot, so could be close. We'll see. They've been hit or miss recently, so we'll see. Last this past week was like their best week in like weeks. So that should that's is what it is, so we'll see. Gods. Florida? No, nope, no from there. Uh Minnesota. There, Montreal. Nope. Nashville. I'm sick. That's that's crazy. Tampa, no. Toronto, no. Lapierre. All four lines and a penalty kill line two. Your third and a third. That's it. That's all it takes. Eh? That's crazy. Uh, there's not much really there. Not much really available. Richard Posternock. I 
I doubt we get anything just because... Or any trades come in because I don't know what else we could really get. <laughs> Doesn't have the two seconds anymore. curiosity. Not really much. All right. <laughs> didn't didn't think so. D cross. Darian cross. So not really a good player. All right, gotcha. Anything on him. Uh, LaRock, a third, a third from Morrissey and Connor. much on him. Don't know much on him. The rock dropped to a 77. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll move him. I think it might be time to move Vince, and so I'm gonna take that. Maybe we can find a centerman that's willing to come over here. Would be perfect, but unfortunately, fortunately, he's, he takes too much to give up for that. That I'm willing to give up at least. If 
fast. found yeah i didn't think so <laughs> i thought I, I it was worth a chat a try see if see if there was anything for him Bottom six, eh? have to see what's available in the free agency after this season for centers. Maybe we can find something. That's kind of worth. Because I am not seeing much. I'll be honest. Not much out there. That's interesting, that's what it takes to get him. That's interesting, but yeah. I don't think I'll do much else. I'll just move a few 
a few plays out. Interesting, this guy actually fits us, but... <laughs> Not much we can get from. And 17 million in salary. That's fucked. <laughs> That's fucking wild. <laughs> and what? He's a left handed DA. Eh? What was the guy? The other guy we had here? This guy, right? He's a, he's a right handed D. Dang. Imagine signing him, and then we got like some like the best like top two or, or top four defensemen, or or two lines of defense. Which is pretty crazy. But maybe he can drop in free agency. We'd have to wait and see on that. <laughs> After this season, because I don't know if Colorado's gonna re-sign him. Maybe I don't know. Maybe they will. I don't know. We'd have to wait and see here. Somehow I'm not surprised on that, uh, Billy. That doesn't surprise me. Trade deadline is over. We did not really acquire anybody. <laughs> we more sold. So, yeah. So, alright. So, Vancouver gets a land in Wismuller from Minnesota for a first and Owen Kim. Uh, Calgary gets a third. Hunter and Nazarov from Buffalo for Yaher Ness and Reese, Reese Sapling. Or, or Reese Spalling, I should say. Uh, Winnipeg gets a second. Uh, no, two seconds from Ottawa for Robert Forstrom and a third. We get a second, a third, and Turekov from Vegas for Zachary Benson. Uh, we also got a second and a third from Edmonton for Sylvain Larocque. Uh, Rangers get uh, Ko Kovacs and Victor James from Winnipeg for Jordan Carter and Patrick uh, Ko Kosi? Kosi? I think that's how they say it. Uh, Benar... Bernaral and a second and a seventh from Vegas uh, go to Toronto for Donovan Galliardi and a third. Pittsburgh gets Torres, a third and a fourth from Montreal for a first and Ted ne Negrin. Uh, Anaheim gets Owen Goddard from Minnesota for a second and Kishkinen. Yeah. Uh, Boston gets a first round pick and Nathan Mendez for Tyler Harris and a fifth round pick. Uh, Ottawa gets a first and Pavelski and Riez uh, from Calgary for Richard Pasternak and Marcus Ekman Larson from Ottawa. Um, Winnipeg gets Evan Pasani and a third from Detroit for Timu Malmivari? Mal 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 I'm not sure how to say his name. And then Philadelphia gets Anthony, a third and a fourth from Winnipeg for Daniel Ma and a third. All right, interesting. So I wonder how our lines are going to look after trading a few players away. We'll see how this goes. But yeah, that, that's a good, that's a crazy trade by Calgary. All right. Let's uh, do uh, head coach preferred. Hogland is our first, first, is our first uh, player in the there, hey? Uh, who's Scratch right now? Interesting that Dolan is Scratch. That's crazy. Maybe things will change here. Anyways. Uh, let's sim up to the last day of the season. We beat... Uh, we Okay, back-to-back -back wins. Alright, okay. And then we lose there. Lost against there. Yeah, Dolan's not even playing. He's, not, he's, he's, he's a healthy Scratch. Right now, he must be playing pretty bad that he's not playing. And a few wins there, alright. 
win there. Two, all right. Got a few wins. A loss, a win. Looks like we've clinched the playoffs again, so we're back into the playoffs. But now we're losing a lot here heading into the playoffs, which isn't great. <laughs> but we had a 100-point season. All right. So we end the season 47, 29, and 6. But we walk into the playoffs in a big losing streak there, which is not ideal. But it is what it is. So... I'll uh, take a look at the point-wise here. Uh, Seely with 69 points with a minus se 7. Uh, Grolu at 66. Mercier at 59. Hogland at 55 points overall. With 16 for us since he's joined us. Um, jo uh, Johansson 52 points uh, in his uh, very first year with us. So that's pretty great. Um, Baumgartner 49 points. Lang at 48. Kopecky at 47, Graves at 38, Farmer at 36 in his first year, so that's pretty nice. Hendry at 33, uh, Mayorov at 28, Palin at 28, Riaz at 27, Toms at 25, Negrin at 21, Dolan at 14, uh, Bloomstrand at 11, Grebishkov at 11 for his first year, and Gurulu at 1, and Turkov at 1, and Lamkin at 0. Alright, uh, for goaltender wise. Uh, Brodziak had five shots this year with 41, 22, 6, and 5 with a 909. So he continues to be very good for us. He is the reason we are good, <laughs> I feel. Also, what's up, uh, Andy? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? All right, so we made playoffs again. So we'll see how this will go. And we go up against the Columbus Blue Jackets in the first round. So let's take a look at what the playoffs are looking like here this time around so in the west we got the predators the cup champions and the stalas stars we got the coyotes and the canucks the kings and the flames and then the golden knights and the oilers uh we are facing the columbus blue jackets the islanders are playing the leafs the bruins are playing the panthers and the red wings are playing the tampa bay lightning all right and then the ahl we've made the playoffs again over there as well so you love to see it. You love to see it. Doing all good here. How's how am I? Not too bad. Not too bad. I cannot complain. So yeah, we were three, five, and two heading into the playoffs. Not really great, <laughs> I will say. Not that great, I will say. So hopefully uh, things turn around here. And I can't believe that uh, Dolan is not playing here. Hold on. Let's see if we can put him in here. Uh, we'll put him there. Actually, you know what? We'll do this. Uh, preferred lines. Yeah. Dolan is not playing for some reason. Alright, that's interesting. <laughs> but anyways, we're going up against the Columbus Blue Jackets in round one. And, uh, this will be a scary team because Columbus has some snipers, I remember. Yeah, they have Corp. Yeah. We've played this team a few times in the playoffs and, yeah, there's a couple players we gotta be careful of. They got, they got a Tubert, they got Corvo, they got Lutz, they got Ferrero, they got Vance, they got Kong, uh, they got Tam, Leech, Ekblad, Lewis, Marks, and Leo, Leonov. On defense, they got Lundback, Carson, Bradford, Svensson, Howden, and Willis. Alright, and on, in goal, oops, in goal, they got Parent 2 and Heatley. Alright. And Scratch, they got uh, one guy injured there who's a left wing. He's a 92 overall. Jeesh, okay. Shorts and not. So I think, I think they're the better team uh, offensively. Uh, we'll see how we uh, match up with them when it comes to defense. So who knows. But anyways, game one here at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. We are the home team for this series. But uh, they are definitely the better team. They're definitely... They, they were also stumbling going into the playoffs, too. So we'll see how this will go. So first period in game one of this series. And uh, we get the first one. Hogland with the first goal there for us. And then Vance will tie it right up there. So it's 1-1. They have the shot advantage, which makes sense. They have the better um, offense, I find. Power play for us there. And Grolu will score on the power play. Very nice. We, got, we still have another power play there, but we don't do much on that. But we have a lead after one. So it's 2-1 uh, Devils after 20 minutes. Shots are 14-8. to eight. Uh, Hoglin and Grulu with the goals. And then Vance for them. Alright, second period in game one. As we uh, get another one from Negren. Nice. It takes a 3-1 for the Devils right there. Alright, so we have no captain on this team. 
And Sealy scores, making it 4-1 power play for the Blue Jackets. Nothing to show for there. Five minutes left to go here in the second period as the Devils have a three-goal lead here. So it's 4-1 after 40 minutes. Shots are 30-18 to for the Devils. Sealy and Negren scored to give the Devils a, th a three-goal advantage after two. Third period here in game one. As we continue getting shots on that right there. Power play for the Blue Jackets there. And it's a long one too. And they score finally. Lynn back. Cutting the lead to two there. Still plenty of time. Here in this third period. Five minutes left to go. Here in game number one. But the Devils are going to hold on to win game one. Four to two. Very nice. That's a good, good win right there. Three stars of the game. Grolu with the first star. Hoglin with the second. And Brodziak with the third star. Very nice uh, point-wise here. Rolu and Hoglin with two points. Toms, Negrin, Kopecky, Seeley, Lang, Mercier all with a point, and that's that. <laughs> all right. So game two in New Jersey. The Devils are up one game in the series. Looking to go up two games to none uh, uh, heading onto the road. Uh, Jackets are going to try to tie, to tie it uh, heading back to home ice here. So let's see how this goes. First period in game two. As uh, nothing happening yet. Power play for the Blue Jackets here. Thankfully, we kill that off. Ten minutes left to go here in the first period of game two. And Ferrero will score, making it one nothing for the Blue Jackets. And yeah, that one of their best snipers get one in the net there. All right, so it's one nothing Blue Jackets after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 12 to 11 for the Blue Jackets as Ferrero with the only goal. Gives the Blue Jackets the lead after one. Second period. Let's see uh, if we get one about power play there. And Graves will score on the power play, making a 1-1 for the Devils. Very good. Good Graves. All right. And Hogland scores, making a 2-1 there. All right. Ten minutes left to go here in the second period. We have a lead. Power play for the Blue Jackets here. They don't score on that one. All right. So it is 2-1 after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 25 to 17. We have goals from Graves on the power play and Hogland right after that. So we have a one goal lead after two. Third period here in game two. Power play, long one for them. Holy smokes. And we kill that off, thankfully. Very nicely done. All right, as 10 minutes left to go. And Vance will tie the game there with 11 minutes left to go. All right, so we have a tie game here in game two here in New Jersey as will anything happen here in the last couple of minutes here and no nothing will all right so that means we get to go to overtime here so we can we can see the uh the overall and all that stuff here so yeah we have the better goaltending and defense but they got the the advantage when it comes to the um they have the advantage when it comes to the uh the offense yeah, their defense is not as good as compared to us. <laughs> and we are just moments away from overtime. All right, so face off here in overtime. All right, next goal wins. Devils looking to try to go up two games to nine while the Blue Jackets trying to tie the series heading back to their home ice. Here comes Corvo. Nice save by Rodziak right there. Tubert to the point there. He's going to get the Carson. He's going to play it to that guy. Tubert, they're cycling the puck right now. Corvo to Tubert. And nice save by Brodzik once again. Seely going to play it to Mercer. Here we go. Here come the, the Devils. Somehow that got to Hoglin. Very nice. Going to play it to Grulu. Shoot. It's blocked right there. Hoglin tied up right there. And the puck's behind the net. And here come the Blue Jackets once again here. He's going to dump it in. All right. Mercier's got it. Let's see what he does here. Skating. Oh, nope. All right. I have arrived, and there's both a playoff game going on and people yanning. Yes. Yes, indeed. Oh, absolutely one. The Devils move the puck All right. The oh, and here comes Johansson. Oh, here's a chance. He's going to play it to Mercer. Great save by Perrin, too, right there. He's going to hang on right there. <laughs> That's funny. It was, it was yesterday. I was, I was telling how Chrissy will change her name, and sure enough, she did. That's <laughs> I, I, kind of funny how I, I called that last night. That's actually kind of funny. Tired, but it's going okay? Yeah, I hear you. I hear you as well. 
Devils have it Johansson scores! What a goal. Nice, nice individual effort right there. And the Devils are up two games to none in this series. Very nice. That's a big one right there. Big, big one right there. <laughs> I'm glad we're all in agreement. Yes. Yes, indeed. Everyone feels tired today? Yeah. You can come to the rink a lot of nights. All right, that was a good goal there by Cal Callie Johansson. It's <laughs> a good name, actually. Even me with my day off. Yes, yeah, same. That's like me too. I'm, 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 I'm tired with my, even on my day off too. That's funny. After Mario Kart last night, I kind of just went and laid on my bed. And then I passed out. And then I woke up and it was 4 a.m. I'm like, well, I should probably go uh, brush my teeth. <laughs> and that's what I did. And then I went back to bed. Then I woke up today, worked a little bit on the vid, and that's about it. And then I, here I am today. All right, three stars of the game. Callie Johansson with the third star of the game. He got the game winner in overtime. Very nice. Second star of the game was uh, Jalen Seeley. And the first star of the hockey game was Cameron Brodziak. Of course it was, because he's just the best. <laughs> All right, uh, point-wise here. Seeley with two points. Farmer... Uh, Kopecki, Graves, Grolu, Hoglin, and Johansson all with a point right there. Very nice. Very good, very good. All right. So, game three now heading into uh, Columbus, Ohio. We have a two games to nothing lead in this series as the Blue Jackets need to win two on home ice to tie it back, heading back to New Jersey. While we're trying to win it here, to put a big stranglehold on the series. What will happen? Let's find out. Also, hello, Edge. How's it going, by the way? How's it going? How's it going? All right, so first period in game three, and Lindback will score first for the Blue Jackets, giving them a one-goal lead there. All right. Blue Jackets need to come out flying in this game because they're trailing in this series. we got a big power play right here. We don't convert on that, unfortunately. Uh, we have the shot lead right now, but uh, not much to show for from that. All right, so it's one nothing Blue Jackets after one. Shots are 10 to nine for the Devils. They got one from Lindback at 16:35 into the first. Second period. Come on, can we tie this one? That would be nice right here. This would be the time to do it. Early in the second, that's a good time to do it. Oh, power play for the Blue Jackets there. Nothing to show for there. 10 minutes left. Power play for the Devils. Nah, we don't get anything there. Power play for the Blue Jackets again. We kill that off. All right, they got the shot advantage now by a lot now. <laughs> so. But we're still getting shots, but we can't seem to get one. So it's one nothing still after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 24 to 18 for the Blue Jackets, as the Blue Jackets still have that one goal lead that they got back in the first period. Third period in game three, and Ferrero scores, making it two nothing. And then Mercier cuts the lead to one. That's a good response right after that. Can we get the tying goal right here? We're only down by one, and Reyes will score. Reyes will score, tying it there. Very nice. Our defense core coming up big right there, and then Hoglin scores, making it three to two for the Devils. Wow, that's a big uh, three unanswered goals there by the New Jersey Devils right there. And the New Jersey, oh my God, the Ferrero will tie it. Damn it, I'm not to say we're gonna take the series, take the game there, and but no, unfortunately, we're going to overtime once again here. Oh my god, we got cucked right there. I thought we were for sure going up three games to nine, but no! We're going to overtime. <laughs> so we get more OT here. Are you hashtagging overtime challenge on social media? Alright, can we can we go up three games to nine here? Or will the Blue Jackets uh, cut the series to one? This is a big game for them. They have to they have to win this one. If we win here, this is a big win for us here. Oh, that's a bad pass right there. Mercier. He's got it right there. He's coming up here. He's going to place the Gurlu. I don't know why you tried to dangle right there, right in front of the player. That's EA, uh, AI for you. That's what they do. Here comes Corvo. Uh oh, you got to stop him. Here comes Corvo. He's coming in. Oh, oh God. A nice, nice defensive player right there. Steely's going to bring it up here. He's looking. Oh, back to Mercier. He's going to play the Hoglund. Shoots. Nice stop right there. Plays it to Tubert. Tubert. And he's just going to clear it in. Mercier. Oh, he uh, turns over. Corvo. Oh, my goodness. That was close. Hoglin now brings the puck up. Here they come. He's going to play it to Dolan. Dolan's back in the lineup. Good to see. Here's a chance. Oh, my goodness. What a chance right there. Dolan back in the lineup right there. You love to see it. 
Got to get him playing. This is only his second, the second or third year. I can't remember exactly. Oh, there's a chance in front. Oh, my goodness. That was a good opportunity there. And here comes Johansson, who had the overtime winner in game two. He's coming in. He gets clobbered with a hit right there. And now here come the Blue Jackets going back the other way right here. They uh, looking for somebody here. And to the point. Back back now. He's two to behind the net now. Ferrero. Here's Corvo. Oh, good stop by, by Brodziak. What a save. Corvo's got it. He's going to shoot, but just wide the net right there. Lang. Going to play it to Dolan. Here comes Dolan. Dolan coming up, but he's picked off right there. He's going to play it to that guy. Here come the Blue Jackets. Kong coming in, but he's knocked off the puck. Here comes Farmer now. And here's Dolan. Dolan, no. Oh, wait, Johansson. Oh, Dolan. Oh, what a chance. Dolan again. Oh, my goodness. What an opportunity right there. But they can't put the puck in the net. And now here come the Blue Jackets. Ferrero coming the other way. It's off his skate there. stick there. Uh, Vance behind the net there. Oh, boy. Vance playing it to the point of that. The Vance. And nothing happened there. Graves losing at the puck right there. Kong back to Bradford. Here's Ferrero, good stop by Brodziak, and he's just going to cover that one up right there. <laughs> Very nice. What's up, Paladin, by the way? How's it going? All right. Face off in the Devil's End right here. 8.25 remaining. Devils will lose the face off. There's Ekblad. He's going to play for Stevenson. And they can't hold the puck or the Greaves for to Meyerov to uh, Negrin. He's going to bring the puck up here. Here come the Devils. Here's Graves. Oh, good save by Parento. And he's going to cover that one up right there. So this overtime has been a lot longer compared to the uh, <laughs> compared to the uh, the last game. That's for sure. Yeah, all right, face off now. And the Devils win it. They are off shoots. It's blocked. Nguyen looking for chance. Oh, Kopecky with a chance. He can't put it in. Kopecky, there's a score. It's Nguyen. And the Devils are up three games to none in the series. Is there one game? They are only one game away from advancing to the second round of the playoffs. What a win right there. That shows that this Devils team has has the experience in the playoffs since they won the Cup two two years ago, but may have made the Cup final back to back years. Looking to try to go four or thirty three years in a row to the Cup final right there. Great playoff action here this season. It is a good start to this playoff series, I will say. <laughs> Got to play Dolan a little more. Did you see that effort he was putting in that overtime? He put so much effort into that into that overtime. <laughs> he was the energy guy. <laughs> All right, so three stars of the game. Uh, Chase Kong was the third star for the Blue Jackets. All right. Second star of the game was Thomas Hogland for the Devils. And the first star of the hockey game was Stan Fierro. All right. So let's take a look at the point-wise here. Dolan with two points. Hogland with two points. Riaz, Negrin, Kopecky, Mercier, and Grelou all with a point. So there you go. That was uh, that was that right there. All right. So now it's time for game four of this series. As the Devils looking to try to advance to the next round here. Here at the Nationwide Arena. But the, De or the, excuse me, the Blue Jackets are looking to try to spoil it. To force a game five heading back to New Jersey. What will happen? We'll find out here. Here we go. First period in game four of this series here. All right. <laughs> Dolan. Yep. Yep. Can we get a GoFundMe to get Billy a Dolan jersey? I agree. That should be that, that should be a thing. Number 88, Dolan. <laughs> Power play for the Blue Jackets. They don't convert on that. All right. So it's no score after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 12 to 10 for the Blue Jackets. It remains scoreless after one. Second period. In game four, shots are very even, but no one can seem to find the back of the net in this one. And uh, Grebishkov scores his first National Hockey League playoff goal, and it's 1-0 New Jersey. And then Ferrero will score, tying the game right after that. And then Corvo scores. Dang, two of their good snipers will score uh, there. So it's one goal lead for the Blue Jackets. Oh, boy. So it's 2-1 uh, Blue Jackets after two. Shots are 24-24. Two goals from the Blue Jacks from Corvo and Ferrero, and then Grebishkov with the only goal for the Devils. Third period in game four. 
Do the Devils have enough to tie it here? In the third period, this will be the time to tie power play for the Blue Jackets. Nothing to show for there. Ten minutes left to go here in the third period here in Game 4. And will the Blue Jackets force a fifth game power play for the Devils here? They need to score on that. They don't. And that's going to do it as the Devils will not put it away in Game 4 as we're going to be seeing a Game 5 in this series. Three stars of the game. Parento with the first star, Corvo with the second, and Brodziak with the third star of this one. All right, stat-wise here, uh, Palin, Hen Hendry, and Rebishkov with the only points in that one. <laughs> no, let's start a GoFundMe to get him a Teddy jersey. Teddy jerseys? Hell yeah. All right. Gentlemen, sweep is very Canadian of you, though. That is true. All right, so game five at the Prudential Center as the Devils, unfortunately, were not able to put the series away on the road. Can they do it on home ice this time? Or will, will the Blue Jackets force a game six? Oh, boy. Let's find out here. First period in game number five. This is a crucial game. Power play for the Devils here. Can we convert on that? It's a long one. They don't convert on any of that power play for the Blue Jackets. They get a lot of them. And Negrin scores a shorthanded goal for the Devils. Very nice. But May And Mayorov will score, making it 2 nothing for the Devils. Very nice. So we get a shorthanded goal, and then a goal right after the penalty gets killed. So it's 2-0 uh, Devils after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 8-6 to six for the Devils as we get goals from Mayorov and Negrin. Second period in Game 5. All right. Here we go. A, a vile jersey sounds delightful. Yes. You should put Yumbly on the back of that jersey's name. <laughs> All right. So five minutes left to go here in the second period as the Blue Jackets have the shot advantage. And Ferrero gets another one in this series as he cuts the lead to one. All right. So it's 2-1 Devils after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 19-14 to for the Blue Jackets as Ferrero will cut the lead to one pretty late into the third or second period. As we have a one goal game heading into the third period. So speaking of that, here goes the third period in game five. The Blue Jackets have the shot advantage in this uh, this game right now. It's a one goal hockey game. Ten minutes left to go here in the third period. Power play for the Blue Jackets. Nothing on that. Five minutes left to go in this one. And, ah, oh, damn it, Marks will score, and this one is going to overtime right there. Damn, could not hold on, unfortunately, as we're going to overtime once again. So this is the third overtime in this series. Devils, a win, a score here, they move on. If the Blue Jackets score, then it's going to a sixth game back to new back to Columbus let's see what happens here so here you go face off one by the Blue Jackets as this one is underway all right Mercier held up to the boards right there Sealy's got it nope Corbin's got it nope nope he's got it we got it now okay Hoglin brings it up here here come the Devils there's a shot that one's kind of just off a body off a leg Lynn back to Corvo. Oh, turned over. Sealy. Back to a uh, defenseman. To Sealy. Comes in. Ooh, that was like a sneaky little shot. But Parento will cover that one up and he will stop play. All right. Face off in the Blue Jackets end here. Big face off coming up here. And the Devils win it. Sealy shoots. It's blocked right there. And now here comes. The Jackets, oh, there's a big pass. Tubert, oh, no, nothing. Sealy now coming up with it. And he, he finds Hogland, all right. Nice spinny. Oh, that would have been, that could have been nice. But it was just not meant to be. And, uh, oh, Corvo is, of course, out-muscling our guy here. Tubert. Oh, Corvo. Oh, damn it, I saw that coming. I knew that was coming, and now we are going to a sixth game. We were up three games to none in this series, and now we're going to a sixth game back to Columbus, unfortunately. And it looks like App saying game sevens are fun. It's, it's, his jinx is coming in good. His game seven jinx is coming in good. That was actually a nice backhand, now i got to give him credit. That was actually a nice shot. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks so much for hanging out with us in short playoff hockey. I love it. All right. Well, 
third a third star of the game in this one was Nicholas Corvo, who had the overtime winner with that nasty little backhand. That was actually kind of nice, actually. Uh, second star of the game was Magnus Lindback, and the first star of the game was Dennis Negrin. All right, uh, point wise here. Graves, Riez, Kopecky, Mayorov, Negrin, and Palin all with a point, and that's that, really, so that's about it. All right. All right. So now we're we're going to a sixth game here in this series. We were up three games to none, so we're at back in the nationwide arena. The Blue Jackets trying to force a seventh game while we're trying to move on to round two. What will happen? Let's find out. First period in game six. Oh boy. Let's find out here. Ten minutes left to go here in the first period as the Devils have the most shots in this game so far. They lead in the shot department, but nothing's being found right now. Alright, so it's one no score after 20 minutes to play. Shots are 11 to 10 as uh, for the Devils, but no one has found the back of the net. So second period in game six. We got a few shots right there, and Dolan scores. There he is, Dolan. And then Graves on the power play makes it 2-0. There you go. That's what we like to see right there. And then Leach will score, cutting the lead to one. Man, this Blue Jackets team will not go away. And then Mark scores a shorty to tie it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that's unfortunate right there. So it's 2-2 after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 24-18 to as we got goals from Dolan and Graves and then they got one from Leach and then Marks on a shorthanded. Third period in Game 6. Oh god. I cannot believe this is happening right now. <laughs> Alright, 10 minutes left to go here in the third period. Power play for the Devils right here. And Seeley scores on the power play. Okay, there you go. Five minutes left to go here in the third period. Will this be enough? It will. And the New Jersey Devils are going to move on to the second round of the playoffs. All right. Three stars of the game. Seeley with the first star. Brodziak with the second. And Marks with the third. All right. <laughs> I was getting kind of concerned there for a moment. Uh, Kopecky and Seeley with, with two points. Farmer, Dolan, Graves, Johansson with the points. With a single point, and that's it. Thank God for no reverse sweep, because yeah, that would have been App's fault if we reverse sweeped. <laughs> to totally would have blamed it all his, blamed it all on him. All right, and we're going up against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Wow, they actually stunned the the Islanders. Hey, that's crazy. All right, so we're going up against the uh, the Maple Leafs in the second round, and it's the Battle of Florida in the second round as well. In the West, it's the Battle of Alberta, and then it's the Coyotes and the Predators. All right. So that's what we're looking at here. So let's take a look at the lineups here for this one. So let's take a look at uh, Toronto. Who, what are we dealing with with the Toronto Maple Leafs here? So we, let's see. So we got uh, Eric Robbins, Johnny Ryan, uh, Sylvain Lalancet. I don't know how to say his name. Uh, Peter Skula. A Amrit Harris, Chris Von Furzen, uh, Korobov, Ackerstrom, and Garen, Connolly, Svedberg, and Haskins. Okay, defense. They got uh, Arms, Armsden, Piero Zabotel, uh, Macarin, Copeland, Les Lesret, and Grant. So that's a lot of names. I that's hard to say. And then goal, they got like, yeah. And then hearts, okay. <laughs> All right. And who? Let's, let's see their scratches. They they got a clean. They got a, a healthy team. Okay. So, who knows? I don't know. Not sure. Again, I think we have the advantage on the um, what you might call it on the defense side of things, but we'll have to wait and see here. But we'll see. But anyways, game one at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. Uh, we're playing against the Leafs. I think this is like the third, fourth time now, I think. I don't remember, but it's been a while since we last played them in the playoffs. So, let's see how this is going to go. So, here we go. First period in, in game one of this series. Here we go. And Dolan scores, making it 1-0 for that. And then Garen will score, making it 1-1. All right. 
So, oh, and then Sealy scores two goals on three shots. Let's go. You love to see it. Ten minutes left to go here in the first period here. You're now getting more shots here, but they still lead on the shot department right here. Five minutes left to go. You need to re-sign Dolan. Don't worry, he's still on his rookie contract for another year, so we're good. So it's 2-1 Devils after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 11-11 as we got goals from Sealy and Dolan, and then we got Garen for them. All right, second period in this one. All right. As uh, we got the shot department. Oh, but then they tie it right there. La, la, uh, la Lancet. I, I'm not sure I didn't say his name, but that's what I'm going to go with. And he scores again, making it 3-2 for the Leafs. All right. This Leafs team. And then he gets a hat trick, a natural hat trick in the second period. Unbelievable. This guy, he gets three straight goals there in the th second period. That's something. So it's 4 2 Toronto after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 23 to 21 as this one guy single handedly gives the Leafs a two goal lead after two. Third period in game one. Can we tie the game here? This would be the time to do it. Can we get offense? Here's a power play here. It's a long one. Can we score on it? No, of course we don't. Ten minutes left to go here in the uh, third period here. And it looks like the Leafs are actually going to take the first game of this series. H Hendry scores, but it's a little too late. It's a 4-3 final for in game one. Three stars of the game. Well, uh, that guy with the natural hat trick in the second period. Robbins with the second and Tatik with the third start. Uh-oh, don't tell me that... Uh, Brodziak is hurt. That is not good if that's the case. That's not great if that's the case. Uh, Point-wise here. Uh, Lang with two points. Sealy, Riaz, Hendry, Graves, Farmer, and Dolan all with a point. And that's that. But I hope to goodness sakes that he is not hurt. Uh, we do have a few injuries though, but ugh couple uh, ones that are not good for us unfortunately that that's for certain all right so game two in New Jersey the least took the first game in this series the Devils looking to try to bounce back in game two tying the series heading back to Toronto so let's see what happens first period Toronto gets a power play and they score on it early in here all right it's gonna be one of these series isn't it all right it's going to be one of these series, it seems. Ten minutes left to go in the first period. We have the shot advantages, but we cannot seem to put the puck in there. There we go. Grow loose scores. Tying the game there late in the first period. All right. So it's 1-1 after 20 minutes. Shots are 9-7 to for the Devils. They got one on the power play from Von Frent Furzen, and then we got one from Grow uh, Lou. All right. Second period in game two. And Johansson scores in a 2-1. Very nice. You like to see it, and then Dolan again, making it three to one. The Dolan is unleashed. Ten minutes left to go here in the period, and Skula scores, cutting the lead to one right there. Five minutes left to go here in the second period. They have a one-shot advantage on the shot clock there. All right, so it's three to two Devils after two shots are twenty to nineteen for the Leafs. We got one from Johansson and Dolan, and they got one from Skula. As it's a one-goal game after two. Third period in game two. All right. Shots are very close in this one. It seems like it's a very close game. All right. Power play for the Devils here, and we don't score on that, unfortunately. Ten minutes left to go here in this third period. Five minutes left to go here in the third. And... It will be enough. The Devils will tie the series heading to Toronto. So that's a good win there on home ice. Three stars of the game. Brodziak with the first star. Dolan with the second star. And Von Furzen with the third star. All right. As point-wise for us here. Lang, Farmer, Dolan, Hoglund, Gerlou, Mercier, Seeley, and Johansson all with a point. And that's that. All right. All right. All right. So game three in... Toronto is it's a brand new series now as it's a, now a best of five series so let's see how this is gonna go so here we go first period in game three power play already for the Leafs right there and thankfully we kill it off there but Harris will score making it one nothing for Toronto we have eight shots we could not find a single goal 10 minutes left to go here in the first and last will score making it two nothing for the Leafs uh 
And then Harris makes it 3 0. All right, so we're in a hole early on here in Toronto. Three goals on seven shots, which is not ideal. So it's 3 0 Toronto after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 11 to 7 for the Devils. At the least, we'll get three from two from Harris and one from Last Threat. Oh my god. Second period. Can we come back? Can we get one early here? That'll be the time. Can we come back from a 3 0 deficit? Power play for the Devils right here. And he gets a 5 on 3. There we go. Hogland scores. Very nice. We cut the lead to 2 right there. Alright. Can we can we can we get another one here late? That's that would be the time to do it. Get a late one. Ah, we don't. So it's gonna be 3-1 Toronto after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 26 to 13 for the Devils. But the Devils can't seem to get off the any goals in net as uh we got one though on the power play from Hogland, but we're still down by two after two. Third period in game three. Can we, can we get early one here in the third? Somebody score for us right here. Somebody. Anybody. No. Ten minutes left to go. Their goaltender is being an absolute wall right now. That is for sure. Five minutes left to go. Hogland scores, cutting the lead to one. Can we get the tying goal? Can somebody tie the game? Somebody. No, we cannot. And the Leafs will take game three. Three stars of the game. Harris with the first. Lacroix with the second star. And Von Furzen with the third star of this one. Stat-wise here. Lang, Hoglin with two points. Gorlu and Seeley all with a point. And that's all she wrote in game three. All right. So game four in Toronto. The Leafs looking to go up three games to one. While the Devils trying to tie the series heading back to home ice. Hopefully we can... Uh, tie the series here that would be nice first period in game four in Toronto we have the shot lead right now but I've seen this one before already in this series oh boy ten minutes left to go here in the first period here and we yeah we have a oh, power play for the Devils right here nothing to show for on that one and uh, all right so it's uh, no score after 20 minutes of play shots are 10 to 5 for the Devils as we remain scoreless after one second period and, oh my god, they got a power play. But we got one right after that. Very nice. Good response right there. Power play for the Leafs right there. We kill that off. Then it's left to go here in the second period. And Kopecky scores, giving it us a 2-1 lead right there. Very nice. And then Copeland scores. Uh, and then Dolan scores, making it 3-2. All right, Dolan, Dolan. That's what we like to see right there. All right. All right, so it's 3-2 after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 21-17 for the Devils. A lot of goal, goal scoring in this second period. We got three from Johansson, Kopecky, and Dolan. And they got one from Lana, Lana and or uh, Lalancetti. I don't know how to say his name. And Copeland. Third period. And, ah, oh, they tie it early on. That's unfortunate. That's You can't let that in. <laughs> that early in, unfortunately. You cannot do that. Power play for the Devils. Ah, oh, we can't score on a 5-3. They get a power play here. Nothing to show for it. Ten minutes left to go here in the third period. Ah. Uh, this Leafs team, man. I swear. <laughs> they are uh, a scary bunch. Oh, my God. Von Furzen scores late. And the Leafs are up three games to one. Unbelievable. Three stars of the game. Von Furzen scores. Skulo, the second star. And Dolan with the third star of the game. Uh, we're on the verge of elimination now. Farmer and Dolan with two points. Graves, Kopecky, Mayorov, Mercier, and Johansson. All with points right there. Oh, not ideal right there. We are on the verge of elimination here, heading to home ice. So we have to like win twice here. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Let's see. Dolan's right there. I have an idea here. Let's try uh, some things here. Uh. We're gonna put Dolan on the first line. <laughs> yeah, our guys are still. Yeah, we're still. We're still hurting from injuries too, which is not ideal, unfortunately. All right, you can't let 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 in cool. <laughs> yep. All right, so game five. 
in New Jersey. The Devils are down three games to one. They have to win two straight to tie the series, to force a game seven to stay alive. Toronto just needs to win one to move on to the Eastern Conference Final. Let's see what happens here. First period in game five here in New Jersey. Let's see what happens here. Dolan is taking the first line center job for this game. Let's see how it goes. Power play for the Devils here. Nothing to show for on that power play for the Leafs. Nothing to show for on that. All right, so it's going to be one of these games again. Close. And Graves will score late for the Devils. That's a big goal there. So it's one nothing New Jersey after one. Shots are 10-9 for the Leafs. Graves gets the first goal of the game. Gives the Devils a one nothing lead after one. Second period in this one. Power play for the Leafs right here. Uh, it's killed off right there. Very nice. And Dolan scores. Very nice. Dolan with another one right there. Making it 2 nothing for the Devils. 10 minutes left to go here in the second period here. Leafs have the shot advantage right now. Five minutes left to go here in the second. And the shots are pretty close now. They're even now. Absolutely even. So it's 2-0 Devils after two. Shots are 20-20 apiece. As Dolan with the only goal here in the second period. Giving the Devils a 2-0 lead after two. Third period. And, oh, this guy gets one of them early again there. Dang. Those early goals are hurting us. And it's one goal game once again. Leafs have the power play. They don't score on it. 10 minutes out, oh, another power play for the Leafs, and they score that same guy. It's a tie game, unfortunately, given the Leafs all the penalties, it seems. <laughs> and he scores a hat trick in the third period. You gotta be kidding me. This guy has scored two. Oh, Gurlou ties it. Okay, hold on. We're going to overtime. I thought this series was over. No, we are going to overtime. We are going to overtime here. All right, we have to win this one, or this series is over. Biggest game of the year right here. We have to win this one. So here we go. Face off at center ice. Here we go. It's overtime hockey. Game five. Devil's trying to stay alive and force a game six. Oh, there's a good chance, but they can't. And this guy, who's got a natural, two natural hat tricks in this series, is going to play to Robbins and Brodziak with the save. This Leafs team has gotten to Brodziak. First time Brodziak has been gotten to uh, in these playoff runs. All right, face off in the Devils' end right here. Leafs win the face off. This guy shoots block right there. There's another chance. Oh, and Brodziak will, will grab that. He's going to hold on. Good save right there. Devils trying to stay alive. <laughs> They're trying to get back to the East Final for the third year in a row. But this Leafs team being annoying. <laughs> Face off one by the Leafs here. There's a chance. What a save by Brodziak. The Leafs are winning all the face offs right now. <laughs> we cannot seem to win a face off against them right now. Face off at in the Devils. At another face off win by the Leafs. Back to the point there. And Ryan. Oh, nice play right there. Ryan, they nice pick off right there. Ooh, okay, nice. And we're, our guy is tied up right there. Mercier, Lang. Here he comes, the Devils here. Lang, our franchise defenseman, comes in. Oh, good save by their goaltender, Grulu. And that one is turned over right there. Not the best smart play right there. Robbins coming up ice. Big hit right there, nice. Devils got it. They play it to Grolu. Here's a chance for Seeley. And it's, he runs the into his guy right there. Von Furs and to Skula. To Harris. Here's a chance. What a save by Brodziak. <laughs> another incredible save right there. Skula. Here's a chance. Oh, another save by Brodziak. That guy was by himself. But Brodziak was ready for him. And he's going to hold on to that one. My goodness. <laughs> All right, face-off in the Devils' end again. Devils win the face-off. Riaz, he loses the puck right there. Back to the point right here. He's a chance for Skula. He's going to play to there. Another one, and Brodziak with another save. <laughs> Too many turnovers right now by the Devils' AI. I don't know what they're doing. That's a lot of turnovers right there in the, in their, in the defensive end right now. 
giving the Leafs one too many chances right now. They have six shots right now. There's another chance. That's their seventh shot of the overtime. And Brodziak will stop this one. <laughs> yeah, we'll need to wake up right here. They're getting schooled right now by this, this, uh, this Leafs team in this overtime. And they win another one here. Copeland, big hit. There you go. New all right, there. Right. Farmer's got the puck, got the puck here. He's gonna bring Gains bring it in. Farmer. Oh, Copeland. No, or not Copeland. Uh, Hoglin, excuse me, is what I have to say. And oh, there we go. Puck has been turned over there. Here come the Devils. Hoglin to Farmer. Farmer shoots, and that guy with the save right there for the Leafs. <laughs> the Leafs goaltender with the big save. A pretty good decision here with the All right, faceoff is in the Leafs end now. See if maybe the Devils can get some, take some advantage here. Faceoff won by the Devils. The the All right, Hoglin. The oh, Someone's lid is off the ice, so they get a speed boost. And now it's <laughs> oh, it's a Devils player. So he's got a speed boost. Oh, Farmer's got it. He's gonna play to Hoglin. It's hit, but he muscles out the check right there. He's tied up on the boards right there. Hoglin, he's tied up again. He's played behind our back there. Here come the Leafs. Oh, nothing there. Riaz playing it to Hoglin. To Negrin. He's tied up right there. He's got it. He's going to play the Braves. Shoot. Oh, another stop by the goaltender. And uh, oh, that one's gonna be oh, icing, I think. Nope, back. no icing there. The they it's way down. Ooh, what a hit in. there by. <laughs> that should have been a boarding call, but Throws you know, I don't. The refs say team. fuck that. It's overtime. <laughs> it is a, overtime hockey, so it makes sense. Big hit right there. The pack nice pack. Here's a graze. Here's oh, a what a save. He should have went backhand. <laughs> Could have had a good chance right there. Vedberg to Connolly. Takes the feed. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. Okay. Takes the cross ice pass. Handles the puck. If they're just playing, passing the puck around there, <laughs> nothing's happening here. Oh, there we go. Turned over here. Here comes Graves. Oh, to Dolan. Yes, Dolan. Dolan. Oh, what a chance. <laughs> Dolan with an opportunity right there. But he could not put it in. <laughs> oh, what a hit. <laughs> Damn. As we wrecked him, Grolu comes in. He's looking. He's going to play it around. Dolan's got it. He's tied up right there. Broken up with the stick at the defensive end. Oh, so he's back to the point of Boomstrand to Lang. To no. Connect. And this guy. got to stop this guy. This guy's been Sends wrecking us this over. series. <laughs> but here come the Leafs. Oh, nice. The Devils get a hold of the puck in their own end. Going to play it to Boomstrand. Oh, there we go. Now to Dolan. To Dolan. Here's Dolan. Shoots. Stop right there. Grolu. The About a minute left to go. We could be seeing double overtime. Grolu. Grolu. To Dolan. A what a save. Are you kidding me? Dolan got absolutely denied. What a save. That could have been the game right there. What a stop by the goalie. Here come the Leafs. Oh my goodness. Another chance right there. All right. Here come the Devils now. Looking for one last opportunity potentially in this overtime. Oh man. That save could change the whole game there. I can't believe that was, that was stopped. Lang playing it there to Palin to Mercier. To Dolan, to Palin, to Lang, to Grolu, first here, times it up, Dolan, another stop by the goaltender, Dolan is getting robbed, Dolan playing it to Palin, Palin comes up ice, he just skates into the goaltender, unbelievable, here, here come the Leafs, here they come, oh no, never mind, Lang coming up by his 10 Looks seconds like remaining. Here's a chance for the Devils. No, they don't do. They don't take a that shot right there. Grolu tied up right there, and this one's gonna go to double overtime. My goodness, Dolan's doing better here than he ever did in Kingdom Hearts. I know. <laughs> that is true, but it doesn't take too much for him to be doing things in other games, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> All right. 
second overtime in game five. Again, the Devils on the verge of elimination. They need to win this game in order to, to survive another day. So here we go. As I hope the, lead, uh, the Devils continue the momentum after that good push there. Here's a chance for Dolan. Another stop. Oh, Gerlou. Another chance and another save by this goaltender. He's an absolute wall right now. He cannot be denied. <laughs> They're throwing everything at him and they cannot seem to put one by him at all. <laughs> My goodness. Face off now. In the Leafs end and Dolan doesn't win that face off unfortunately. The Leafs got it. Ryan and he's got it. What's he going to do? He's going to play it to uh, that guy. Here comes a chance for the Leafs now. Going to stop this guy. He's been wrecking the Devils all series long. He's got two natural hat tricks against them in this series. Here's Dolan. Oh, good chance right there. Robbins. Oh, and there he is. This guy. He, here he comes. Oh, that one's stopped tonight. Then here's Dolan. He's back. He's, he's been hungry this game. Dolan, Dolan, oh, what a chance. Oh, man, he almost had a good chance right there, but he could not give it to his guy. Oh, good, good try, though. And here come the Leafs now. This guy's coming back. Got to stop him. Ooh, that was a sneaky play right there. Mercier playing it to Dolan, to Hoglin. Hoglin coming in, shoots, blocked. Oh, and he just trips right there. <laughs> good opportunity right there. And now he tries to get it across to Devils Morrison. came close again there, but they can't the seem to beat this goaltender. The Leafs got it now. Here's, here's, Ar now. here's a chance. And Bronziak with a glove save is just going to cover that one up right there with 13.04 remaining in the overtime period. A lot on the line here in this we are still looking for the winner of this one. Face off in the Devils' end once again. The Leafs win the face off there. And here come the Devils, Johansson. Skating in. Going to play it back to Mayorov. To Reyes. To Hogland. To Mayorov. To Reyes. And he gets clobbered. And now the Leafs got the puck. And he gets clobbered. And the Devils get it right back. Johansson. To Farmer. Back to Mayorov. <laughs> to Johansson. Oh, can Retrieve the puck there. Here come the Leafs. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Oh, oh. New Jersey's okay. got it in their own Tied up behind the net there. Johansson playing it to check. Graves. Nice Graves to Johansson to, to Negren. Here's, Here's Graves. Pass. And that one's and deflected. Front blocks that one. To Graves. To the chance. Goes. Oh, almost. And now the, 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 the Leafs. Nope. Yeah, okay, we got it back. Riaz to Negrin. Oh, he gets hit right there. Oh, Devils pick it right back up here. To Negrin. And he passes it to nobody. <laughs> nobody was there. Kopecky. Tried to play to his guy, but he can't. And the Leafs get it right back. And here they come. 6.20 left to go in the overtime period. We are still looking for one. And the Leafs pick it right back up here. Back to the point. Here's a chance. Oh, what a stop by Bronziak. Another huge save. <laughs> Another huge save. Here's a chance. Here's a chance. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the passing. But they didn't pull the trigger. Here come the Devils now. Oh, Negren shoots. Another stop by this goaltender. Making desperation saves. <laughs> Left, right, and center. The Devils just can't seem to bury one by him. Getting goalied pretty hard. Devils retrieve it right back. Here comes Graves. He's by himself. Here's a chance. And he can't put it in. Oh, my goodness. He misses the entire net on that animation. And now here comes the Leafs. There's another chance. Oh, that was almost in the back of the net right there. And now the Devils come back with it. Talon coming up. Coming up ice. Deacon around. Oh, he can't do much there. He's doing too many moves. Can't be doing that. And now the Leafs have it. Svedberg. Svedberg. 
and he gets clocked, and there's a penalty coming up, of course. Oh, shit, not, not great, as the Devils are taking a penalty here, as the Leafs are going on the power play late here in the second overtime period. And this could potentially be it here. Not ideal right there. And thank you for the tier one guest up to CDN Mike. I appreciate that. Welcome to the beatdown crew. Here's a chance now for the Leafs on the power play. They get the long one too. Oh, there's a blocked. Another stop by Brodziak. Time goes slower in overtime on the power play. Robin's Dan just keeps fighting on that one. Here come the Leafs now. Here's a chance. Stores and it's over. The, the Toronto Maple Leafs. This guy gets his fourth of the game. It's an overtime winner. And the Devils are unfortunately going to be eliminated in five, unfortunately, in round two. So no back-to-back -back years to the Eastern Conference Finals. This Leafs team, if their Cinderella story continues, that one guy has, kill, kill, has killed us all series. I think he scored like seven, eight goals against us this one series. It's crazy. It's, and their goaltender just would not let anything in. But thank you to Anonymous for a tier 1 gifts up to Yoshi. I appreciate that. I didn't see how many months that was for. Um, that was for 34 months. I appreciate that. Alright. Three stars of the game. Caesar Grolu with the third star for the Devils. Second star of the game was Cameron Brodziak. And the first star of the game was probably their goaltender or the guy that scored the game winner. Yeah, Sylvain Lalancet with four goals. God damn. God damn. <laughs> All right, Gorlou and Dolan with two points. Graves, Negrin, Seeley, and Kopecky with one point apiece. And that's all she wrote for this one. Well, I know for sure we'll be trying to look for a centerman during the offseason, that's for sure. Nashville moved on, so they're trying to defend their cup. And the Oilers moved on, so it's going to be Oilers and Preds in the second round. And it's Leafs and Panthers. All right, Leafs and Panthers in the East Final. All right, we're going to sim up to uh, the 18th tier since our season is done. And the Predators go back-to-back -back years as Cup champions. All right, so that's who wins the uh, the Cup this year. Whereas the Nashville Predators, they go back-to-back -back years winning the Cup. Alright, let's take a look at the awards here for the year. Uh, so Nashville wins back-to-back -back Cups right there. The President's Trophy winner were the Vegas Golden Knights. Uh, the Clarence Campbell Bowl Trophy winner were the Predators for back-to-back -back years. Toronto was the Prince of Wales, so they went all the way. Damn, that's crazy. That is crazy. Um... Individual awards. Martin was the Art Ross. He was the Hart Memorial Trophy as well. Costaranta Ranta was the James Norris Trophy winner. Lawrence was the uh, Lady Bing. Uh, Lindman was the Calder Trophy winner. Be uh, Bellinger was the Con Smythe. Brodziak was the Vesna Trophy winner. So that's cool. Our goaltender won the Vesna. Uh, Borodziak was the William M. Jennings Trophy winner. Shaw was the Bill Masterson. The Stars coach was Jack Adams. Uh, Ewan was the Frank Selke winner. Martin was the Ted Lindsay. And Maurice Rocket Richard was, was Simpson. All right. And then the AHL. Uh, the Barracuda won the Calder Cup. Our team won that. Our team won that. The Gulls won that. Admirals won that. The Gulls won that. The Thunderbirds won that. Our team won that. The Thunderbirds won that. And the Barracuda won that. Uh, individual awards. This guy won that. Our guy won that. This 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 guy won that. And our guy won that. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. All right. So I gotta look at the uh, contract situation here. Let's see what we got. The contract's coming up right here. Um. Dolan does need a contract out. Thank you, Hedges, for the 100 bits as well. And also for T1 gifts it to uh, Cold Sacks. I appreciate that. For, let's say, 29 months? 
No, 27 months. 27 months. I was one. I was wrong. But yeah, appreciate that. Dolan. All right. So how many, uh, how much cap space do we have? We have 42 million cap space to work with. All right. But we got a lot of players that we got to, like, resign and such. So, yeah. <laughs> so, this should be fun to deal with. Um, let's see goalies here. Okay. Okay. Um. Right. I think. Center-wise, at least. Yeah, we're definitely going to sign, uh, re-sign Dolan. He can definitely have that. Um, Hogland. We won't sign, I don't think. Scarlet. Probably won't sign. Kopecky. Maybe I might, but just not yet. Rolu, how much are you going to ask for? 10 mil. Oh, damn. All right. Uh, Schmaltz, Toms. I'll sign Toms for a cheaper contract there. See what he, if he'll take that. Okay. Right-hand defense. Uh, Graves. See if he takes 4 mil. Goaltenders. Okay. Um, all right. We will head to the retirement portion of this. Uh, let's take a look at the draft here. So, San Jose wins the draft. They go from six to one. Pittsburgh goes from eight to two. Buffalo goes from one to three. Seattle goes from two to four. Washington goes from three to five. Colorado goes from four to six. St. Louis goes from 5 to 7. Carolina goes from 7 to 8. Montreal goes from 9 to no stays the same. Chicago stays. Rangers stay. Minnesota stays. Philadelphia stays. Anaheim stays. Winnipeg stays. And Ottawa stays. All right. All right. So let's sim a day here to the draft interviews. Let's take a look who retires here. All right, so Hogland retires. Okay, I wasn't even going to resign him anyway, so that's good that he ends up retiring. Uh, Marco Koivu, Lynn Eklund, Kem, uh, Kimel retires. Yeah, I figured he'd retire after this season. So good thing we didn't resign him. Um, uh, Negren retires as well. Okay, good. That takes more money off of me for having to resign players. <laughs> that works out. Uh, I'm not seeing anybody else noticeable here. Okay, um, let's go to goaltenders. And it's just all free agency, yes, nothing, nothing in particular. There. Okay, um, we have a coach that retired for us. Um, yeah, so we'll have to deal with that. View draft class. All right, this guy is unknown, and this guy is something. <laughs> All right. So where would we be drafting? Around here, hey? Eh? He's NHL ready, eh? Okay. Another NHL ready defenseman we can get at that point. That's interesting. Yuri Mor Moroza. A defensive defenseman. He's based on Zdeno Chera. All right. Let's talk about your strengths and weaknesses. His strength is his defense. That's good. Weaknesses is his senses. Um, play style. Readiness. He's ready to make an impact right now. He's 17 years old, too. Damn, so he's a young, young defenseman. My goodness. We have all the young defense. <laughs> I don't know if he'd be a 7th defenseman, though, but we'll see. We'll see on that. Uh, 
power forward. Interesting. A low elite for that guy. Interesting. You should do the Zeppo strat and only sign wingers. Is that what he does? And technically, I've only been signing and drafting like defense. <laughs> I'm very defense heavy. Ricardo Ryan, what a name. Let's, uh, let's interview you. Because I want to see if it's right saying two years off. Physical and skating, all right. Readiness. Needs at least a few seasons. Okay, so I don't think it's, that's two. Yeah, three years off, yeah, so he's still, still a little ways away. We don't know anything on him. Timothy Weissman. So is... Oh. I didn't get his strength. His strength is shooting, senses is his weakness. Alright. Um I'm gonna guess NHL ready is his readiness is NHL ready, let's see. He's ready to make an impact now, yep. I thought so. We don't know if he even fits us. <laughs> Well, that's fun. All right. The guys have not said they've resigned or not yet, so we don't know if they've resigned or not. <laughs> All right. Let's draft. Ooh. Pittsburgh is willing to trade for that pick right there. That's interesting. Pittsburgh is open to trading their pick. What are they looking at for that? Nothing from us. All right. <laughs> they are not willing to trade with us. All right. The Rangers are are trading the 11th round pick. To make Billy Mauld, we trade with them. Just kidding. <laughs> Johansson, a third and a third. Irish Bud and Farland. A few trades. Options. Interesting. But I don't know what's at 11, though. Let me look at that. What's there? A grinder.
Hmm, that would be interesting. No trades found. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> How much cap space does Washington, uh, Washington, Colorado have? Eight mil. But that opens up a lot for him, though. Hey, I was busy with that game. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, it's too much, uh... value. Cool. <laughs> Well, our defense is absolutely insane. <laughs> I'm just gonna go out and say that now. <laughs> our defense is fucking crazy. That is all I am going to say on that matter. pick and we'll pick that other defenseman if he's available oh, I don't think he is I think they took him damn it yeah they they took him that's okay the guy we were gonna go for ended up getting taken yeah I figured as much Chara. Is he related to Zdeno Chara? Do 
squeeze off, eh? Looks like this guy. Uh, Evans third for fifth and sixth. Up. Just want to see what there is. <laughs> All these defensemen. Least Pan was a cool name. Yeah, it was actually. Oh, well, we don't get much in this draft. That's okay. We we made up for it last last year's draft. We got two NHL ready players at 31 and 33. So I'll get this guy. Let's get this three years off. Enforcer. Yeah, let's go. Fifth and a sixth. Or a fifth or six and a seventh. I'm going to climb that. Lewis Hughes. Yep. Yeah, it's because I see that high elite. Let's see. Fringe starter. Ah, that was too good to be true. <laughs> that was too good to be true. This guy take a gamble. Nice, that worked out. You should rename yourself uh, Panoration. <laughs> speaking of speaking of that, I saw he start. He's gonna play Skyward Sword starting tomorrow. That's cool. I'll have to come by a bit tomorrow before I pass. I have to pass out. What's with all the defensemen? My goodness. There's so many defensemen. <laughs> well, gives me uh, trade bait, I guess. Alright. Any of our players we sign? Uh, oh, our NHL coaches need to be re signed here. We will keep our coach. Give him all the monies. Should be fun. Indeed, yes. That it should be. So much cash. <laughs> Eventually we'll make it to the most you can make that you can give this guy. 
Almost there. <laughs> One of these days. There we go. All right. He wants to be an NHL head coach now, eh? Um... Unfortunately, assistant coach. I'll drop him and we'll find new of them. Resign our scouts. Scouts were like expiring. There we go. Okay. Now for the resign phase. All right. Uh, Dolan resigns. Very good. Uh, Graves resigns. Good. And Tom's resigns. Perfect. Okay. Resign phase. a day. Perfect. Now I only have four million cap. Awesome. <laughs> But at the end of the day, that defense core is pretty nice. Our top four defense, or basically our best four defensemen are 95, 90, 89, and 86. And then the rest is there. <laughs> Unfortunately, now we don't have the cap space to really resign anybody, which is an issue. But that's okay. Uh, Graves, we'll just release him. Yoshi. Sure. Eddie does not want to resign, so we'll release. Dowel. Sure. Uh, Saint Dennis. I'll drop these two. Scarlet, I will probably. Here. 
Um, this guy can sign. Um, Dolak. He fits, so I'll sign. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Sign for just slightly lower. Dan Hughes. I'll just release this guy. I felt like I could make it if I get a chance to play. All right, never mind. Uh, okay. 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 I guess we'll uh, release. And then... release. Alright. Okay, so first things first. We need to hire some staff. <laughs> Alright, we need an associate coach. do. I like that 69% scheme. Uh, goalie coach. There we go. Make sure I don't forget to make that mis uh, <laughs> make that mistake where I make sign him as an associate. Uh, anyways, uh, HL associate Kopitar. This guy. It's an associate. Yes. Yes, it is. Perfect. Okay. Scouts. We need any scouts. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really say. So we'll never know. Alright. What do we need on this team? Centerman for sure. We definitely don't need defense. We are we are good. <laughs>
Santiago Marks. I'll go with him. track to take <laughs> for a 70 something overall player now I'm good uh, the contract simply not within my range okay understandable have a nice day I'll just sit in the next season here uh, maybe we'll see some good deals that come in uh, nope Gives us some center core pieces. Third, third, uh, nope. Nope. Alright, set so captain. Let's see. We have a lot of left wing depth. <laughs> As well. We have a Yoshi on the line up here. Nice. Dang, look at that. Plus five, plus five. <laughs> and then just whatever. That defense depth is pretty nice. Even if it takes most of my cap, <laughs> it's probably worth. I should say. Alright. Seems good. <laughs> Alright. Let's sim up uh, a few number of days here and see. How this will look. Hopefully we have a better start this time, <laughs> and not like a late blooming start. All right, all right. So it's time for the 2043-44 season. This is uh, year 23 out of 25. So um, only a few more seasons left to go with our uh, file here. So 
can we get one more cup run into us? Who knows? We'll have to find out. So here we go. First period of the first game. Let's just see how uh, our first game goes. For our team. Tied at the moment. Toms. Alright. Zvatos. Sealy. And Dolak. We have Dolan and Dolak. <laughs> Not to get confused. Like that. Alright, we're 4 2. LeBlanc. <laughs> LeBlanc. The coffee shop scored on us. Dang, go Hans. Let's go. Alright. 6-3 final. Let's go. Alright. So we win our first game of the season. That's good. Johansson, Baumgartner, and Dolan. All right. Uh, three goal points for Johansson, Baumgartner with three, Gr Grulu, Dolan with two, Baru, Farmer, so Soleil, Maru, Toms, Dolak, Mercier with all with one. Damn, so Jiro really be coming out here using his shop. I know, right? Crazy. All right. So let's sim up to the 1st of January and see where we're at here. After the new year here. Where's the first day of January? Right here. Perfect. Alright. So we'll go for Chicago. We lose. Detroit. We win. Alright. Ottawa. We win. Dallas. We lose into a shootout. We win against Florida. I want to speak about my ice time concerns. Tom Dolan. Alright. I'll persuade him. I am a team player. Oh, well, perfect, Dolan. I appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, 3rd and 3rd, who's Seabeck, or Seabeck. Bottom 6 lines. How much are you making? Eh, maybe you could be something for depth, maybe. A loss. A win, okay, a loss there. Another loss. A win, a win, alright. Back to back wins, there we go. Getting some wins. Washington, we win. Carolina, we win. Nice. Detroit, we lose. Ottawa, we win. Florida, we lose. O Toronto, we win. All right. It's a good year for rookies. Columbus, we win. Toronto, or Tampa, we win. Or lose, sorry. And Columbus, we win again. All right. Uh, sorry about how I'm playing out there. Uh, I'll persuade him. Thank you for your appreciation. Yes, you're welcome. Alright, shootout loss. Loss against Vegas. Loss against Jets. Loss against the Jets again. Loss against Arizona. 11-3 win. 5-1 win. And then we lose to Arizona. 8-3 win. Okay. 3-1 loss. Uh, second and third for... Makina and a third. Who's Makina? Center fin. I am good for now, I think. Boston, we win. And they're back again with the same trade. No, I'm good. I'm gonna win. Alright. So we're 2013 and 2. At the, at the new year, and it's a much better start this year compared to last season. Well, that is good to see, so let's take a look at points-wise here on this team. Alright, so Sealy with 34 points leading the team. Johansson at 31 points, which is nice to see right there. Lang at 31 points. Uh, Mercier at 31 points. Dolan at 29. Uh, Tom's at 27. Uh, Grolu at 27, Maru at 26, Baumgart at 20, Farmer at 19, Berlu at 19, Marks at 18, 
Graves at 817, Dolak at 13, Yoshi at 11 points, Riaz at 9, Bloomstrand at 8, Grabishkov at 7, Pavlik at 4, Dowell at 3. All right. Um, and on goaltending, Brodziak with 17 wins, 11 losses, 2 overtime losses, 0 with an 887, and then Fletcher with 320 with a 910. All right. Well, not bad, not bad. All things considered. Oh, you guys talk about your addiction Fortnite. Cool, cool. Um, pl sorry, playing out there. I'll persuade. Thank you for your vote of confidence. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a nice day. Alright, we win against Montreal. Lose to Montreal. Beat, uh, beat Anaheim. Overtime loss. Uh, three, fifth, and... Who is this guy? How was my day? Not bad. Kind of just relaxed today and was just working on my vid project and that's about it. So, it was alright. Alright, we're on a bit of a win streak right here. Lose against Ottawa. Third, 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 fifth, Jackman. Yeah, I don't work on on Mondays. At the moment, I don't. I don't need Jackman. Pittsburgh, we win. St. Louis, we win. Edmonton, we lost. Washington, we win. Colorado, we lose. LA, we lose. Buffalo, we win. Philadelphia, we lose. Rangers, we lose. Sharks, we beat. Dallas, fire their coach. Minnesota, we lose to overtime. Carolina, we beat. Nashville, we lose in overtime. Colorado, we lose to. Minnesota, we lose to in overtime. Chicago, we win 4 nothing. We lose to Seattle. Montreal. Okay. So we're 33, 22, and 6 at by the day before the deadline here. Um, so let's take a look at what we're looking at right here. Sealy was 64 point season. Very nice. Um, 64 points right there. Uh, Johansson 54, Dolan at 51 points. Hell yeah, Dolan. <laughs> That's a career high for him right there. You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, Grolu at 50 points, Lang at 48, Mercier at 48, Maru at 44, Tom's at 40, uh, Buru at 35, Farmer at 33, Marks at 30, Baumgartner at 29, Graves at 25, Dolak at 20, Yoshi at 18, Blum Bloomstrand at 18, Riaz at 16, Grabishkov at 12, Pavlik at 7, Dowell at 4. All right. Um, and on goaltending, uh, Baranzi at 25, 18, 6 with a one shot with an 8, 8, 7. And Fletcher with 8, 4, 0, 0, 0 with a 9, 0, 4. All right. So it is what it is there. Don't know if I'll do anything at the deadline here. I kind of like what our team's doing at the moment. Um, that'd be a buyer, I guess. I don't really have much to work with here, though. By 3 p.m. today, my back was like, I'm gonna go on, going on vacation, see you tomorrow. <laughs> That'll be like my mind when I wake up tomorrow. <laughs> For a little bit. Actually, not the first little bit, of, like, like at the end, I should say, of the day, I'll be like, nope, I'm done. <laughs> Oops, I meant overall. I'm just looking at the wrong thing. <laughs> we have not had one of those in a long time. 
Hopefully you don't have to deal. No, I'm I'm still in training, so I have I I haven't done anything like that yet. So won't be for a little bit still. So I don't have to worry about that yet. Thankfully. So you don't have to worry about that. hold on to a good chunk here. Philadelphia would be over the cap. Ah, shit. Let's do that. Almost there. Oh, maybe it's the... Salary, maybe? Oh, well, let's get rid of that, then. Uh, some changes were made to the trade salaries, but Philadelphia is still not interested to do it this time. Well, then. All right. Let me do that. Philly here.
put a first in there. Hmm, nope. They don't want to give up this guy, hey? That's crazy. Crazy, I don't want to give up this guy. Hmm. I guess we can't do much then if they're not going to be able to give that guy up. last season that we do for tonight too is this one probably i think because we're most likely making playoffs and who knows how this how long this run's gonna go They do not want to give them up. Yeah, so I give up on that. I give up trying on that because, yeah. Not sure what else I would be willing to give up to do that. much yeah even with all that I even I even threw a first in there at one time and they still didn't want it I don't know I, I only I can think of is the upgrade centered for but I don't think we're gonna be able to we might be okay though so we might be okay regardless
the goalie we, that didn't want to sign resign with us is already on the trade trading block. <laughs> That's funny. You do not want to be the backup goaltender. One more hour left here in the uh, the trade deadline. I, I haven't done anything. <laughs> I tried to go for something, but... Philly was being a little too stingy. So, we unfortunately will not be getting anybody. <laughs> There's nobody else I really need. You look the rallies, just no deals to be made? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The only thing I was looking to upgrade was the, the center core, because I think that would be nice, but yeah, I could not find anything. Better that than vastly overpaying, true. Yeah. That is true. Let's... The team should be fine anyway. I feel so. Don't think we really need to do too much. See what the trade deadline did. Uh, Flames get uh, Sheldon Della Rover from Minnesota for Max Hilpert and Jeffrey Findlay. Uh, the Islanders get a third, E. Flynn, uh, in a fifth round from Colorado uh, for Marshall Sims and Gordy O'Donnell. Colorado also uh, got a second and a fifth round pick from Detroit for Willie Sanders in a seven. And that was the trade deadline. It was a very dead trade deadline. <laughs> Nobody did anything. That might be one of the, uh, the, the quietest trade deadlines I've ever seen in this game. <laughs> Three whole trades, baby. Alright, anyway. Let's keep simming here. We lose against Pittsburgh, but we beat Carolina. Beat New York. Beat Toronto. Beat New York. Beat Boston. Beat Columbus. Lost to the Islanders, beat Carolina, lost to the Rangers, beat Florida, beat Pittsburgh, lost to the Islanders, lost to the Boston in overtime, beat Nashville, lost to the Blue Jackets, back to back wins against the Lightning, an overtime loss against the Pens, and a win against uh, Philly. Alright, so we end the year 47, 27, and 8. 
which put us in second in the division, and we were the... Um, let's see. One, two. Yeah, and the Predators are 125 points. Holy smokes. Predators are absolutely stacked right now. <laughs> we are... Fifth, sixth best team, I think. Yeah, one of the two. I mean, actually, I can make it easier if I do this. Actually, <laughs> I could just do this. Yeah, fifth best team. Yeah, so we were the fifth best team in the entire league. So, not bad. Not bad. All right. So point wise here, let's see here. Uh, Seeley with 82 points, Grulu at 72 points, uh, Johansson at 70 points, so nicely done on his second year. Um, Lang, uh, Lang at 68 points, so nice bounce back year. Same as Mercier with 67, Dolan at 66 points, had a good year here this year, so that's good to see. Moru at 52, uh, Baru at 50 points. Farmer at 45, Toms at 45, uh, Baumgartner at 44, Marks at 40, Graves at 37, Dolak at 26, Yoshi 25, Riaz at 23, Bloomstead 21, uh, Grabishkov at 12, Dowell at 10, Pavlik at 8, uh, Dajanez at no points. <laughs> In one game that he played. Uh, and goaltenders. Uh, Brodziak at a 37-28 with three shots and an 8.98. Fletcher at 10-7-0-0 with an 8.99. Alright. That's that. Alright. Now, we'll see who we play in the playoffs here. In round one. In round one, we play the New York Rangers. So somewhere, Billy, it will get salty. <laughs> All right. And in the first round of the playoffs, let's take a look here. It's uh, Arizona, Minnesota, Nashville, L.A., Gold Vegas, and da Anaheim. And in the Battle of Alberta. In the east, it's the Devils and Rangers, Islanders, Red Wings. Panthers, Bruins, and then Lightning and Blue Jackets. All right, and then the AHL. Uh, our team did not make it, so our AHL team did not make the uh, the AHL playoffs this year. Interesting. All right, all right. So we're going up against the New York Rangers here. So let's take a look at their team here. See what we're going up against here. All right. So the Rangers have uh, Belak, Sharp, and La Junin. Yeah. Uh, Kovacs, Leclerc, Burrish, uh, Led, uh, Lebda, Jarvinin, and Sanchez. Oh, Eugene Sanchez. Oh, man. Former player we drafted. <laughs> uh, Bergfors, Orpik, and Sprev. Uh, defense. Smolinski, Andreas. Ooh, they got a 91 overall. Uh, Kurdok, Minard. Alright. Um, uh, Curtis Perry and Raphael Gu uh, Guen or Gu Gunin. Yeah, I think Gunin. That's how you say it. And in goal, they got uh, uh, Rainer Backer and Juka Bloomquist. Alright, and then for Scratch, they have Three or two injuries there. We were both 79 overall defensemen. All right, so we'll see. We'll see. I don't want to say anything because I don't really know for sure with the EA sim. Anything can happen, really. And they were seven and three and zero oh coming into the playoffs when we were six two and two. So kind of close, kind of even, I'd say. All right, so game one at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. It's the Rangers and the Devils. First time I think in this. Uh, file this has actually happened actually i don't think we've ever played the rangers at all in the playoffs before uh in this file but of course this has happened many times in the playoffs in the past um lots of eastern conference finals second round appearances etc etc so um so there's a history between these two teams in the playoffs they are rivals after all so yeah 
Um, so without further ado, here we go as we go up against our, our biggest rival in the playoffs for the very first time in this file. So here we go. First period in game one of this series, the Battle of New York <laughs> and New Jersey. All right, 10 minutes into the first period, they had the shot clock advantage. Um, nothing is happening, though, uh, scoring-wise, at least, so that is a good sign. So it's a no score after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 10 to 8 for the Rangers as we lead, as, as no one has a goal yet in this series. Second period in game one. And Mark scores first for the uh, the Devils. It's 1-0. And then Bloomstrad scores making it 2 nothing for the Devils. So, all right, so good start to this series for us. Power play for the Devils here. And it's Johansson on the power play making it 3 nothing, And then Sealy makes it 4 nothing. All right, so... Four unanswered. Then Dom scores makes it five nothing. So five unanswered goals there here in the second period. The Devils explode in the second period. So it's five nothing New Jersey after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 19 to 17 for the Devils. We got goals from Margs, Bloomstrad, Johansson, Seeley, and Tom's. Third period. Insanity indeed. Yeah, we had a good start to that second period. It, this is both good and terrifying indeed. You don't want to waste all your goals. In one game, that's for sure. Ten minutes left to go here in the third period in game one. Five minutes remain in this one. And uh, all, the shutout was broken late in the third, but it doesn't matter as the New Jersey Devils win game one with an astonishing 5-1 to one victory. Very nice. Three stars of the game. Bloomstrad was the first star. Marks was the second. And Brodziak was the third star all right uh, point wise here bloomstrad marks graves uh and times all with two points johansson Seely, gurlu lang yoshi all with a point because usually when this happens the sim gives you the next game to none yep pretty much it's exactly how it goes all right so game two in new jersey the devils took game one in the the dominating fashion as they look to try to go up two games to none heading to uh New York, but um, the Rangers look to try to go head home to tie the series. So let's see how this one's going to go here. So here we go. First period of game two of this series. All right. And Dolan scores one, make it one nothing. All right. First shot, first goal, just like that. Dolan gets the first shot, and it's a goal. And Leclerc will score tying the game. And then Johansson scores, making it two to one. And then power play for the Rangers right there. Nothing to show for right there. They have a lot of shots right now. My goodness. <laughs> As yeah. So, oh, and Grolu scores, making it 3 to 1. Very nice. So it's 3 1 Devils after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 14 to 11 for the Rangers. But the Do Devils have goals from Dolan, Johansson, and Grolu. As the Rangers only get one from Leclerc. Second period uh, in game two. Power play for the Devils right here. They don't score on that, unfortunately. And Lad Jujin scores. And then Sharp scores. And we have a tie game here early in the second period. Ten minutes left to go in the second. Power play for the Rangers. And Led uh, scores, making it 4-3. to three. And there goes our lead, <laughs> unfortunately. That did not last very long. So the Rangers are up by one after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 26 to 16 for the Rangers. They are out shooting us heavily as they get goals from uh, Lad Junin, Sharp, and Led. Uh, as the Devils are down by one after two. For third period, power play for the Rangers again, adding more to the shot. And Dolak scores, not Dolan, but Dolak ties the game there as we are tied 4 4. And then Baumgartner scores, making it 5 to 4 for the Devils. What a scoring fest. And Bloomstrad scores, makes it 6 to 4 for the Devils. What a game. Uh, five minutes left to go here in the third period of game number two. And with that, uh, Johansson scores again, and it's seven to four file for the New Jersey Devils as they are up two games to none after, uh, in this series. Three stars of the game: Bumgarner with the first star, Johansson with the second, and Grolu with the second star. As the Devils are up two games to none in this series, heading for the road. As Bumgarner had four points, Johansson with three points, Grolu with three points, Dowell, Mercier, Lang with two. Uh, Bloom, Shen, Dolak, and Dolan all with a single point. So there it is right there. Very nice. <laughs> all right, all right. So game three in the at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Yes, it's a two nothing series lead for the rain uh, for the excuse me for the Devils looking to go up to game three games to none in this series. But while the Rangers are trying to not 
be out of this series and force at least a game five in this series. What will happen? Let's find out. First period in game three. As the Devils get a power play early on here, they don't convert on that. Unfortunately, they get a power play and they score. Perry scores, making it one nothing for the Rangers. Ten minutes left to go here. Power play for the Devils. And Sealy scores on the power play. Two power play goals in this game. And it's 1-1. One, one. Power play again for the Devils right here. Nothing to show for it right there. So it's 1-1 one, one after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 11-7 for the Rangers. Perry gets the first one for the Rangers. And then Sealy scores the other one for the Devils. Second period in Game 3. And Leclerc scores, making it 2-1 for the Rangers. All right. Uh, power play for the Rangers there. Uh, nothing to show for there. Devils looking to try to tie here. And Sealy scores. It's 2-2. Very nice. We have tied the game there. We seem to just bounce right back uh, when something happens. And then Tom scores. Makes it 3-2 for the Devils. Very nice. So it's 3-2 after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 21-19 for the Devils. As we got goals from Sealy and Tom's. And then Leclerc gets the one goal for the Rangers. It's the one goal game heading into the third period. Here we go. Period number three in game three. As uh, Devils uh, get another one from Farmer. Very nice. Farmer scores. And then Farmer again makes it 5-2 to two with 10 minutes left to go here in the third period. Power play for the Devils. Nothing to show for her on that. Five minutes left to go here in this one. And with that being said, the New Jersey Devils get another goal there, making it 6-2. to two. And the Devils are now one game away from advancing to the second round of the playoffs. Three stars of the game. Sealy with the first star. Farmer with the second star. And Toms with the third star. Uh, Point-wise here, Sealy and Farmer both with four points. Dolan and Toms with two points. Marks, Graves, Dolag, Baru, Mercier... All with a single point. There you go. Very nice, very nice. As we uh, get ready for game four at Madison Square Garden. The Rangers uh, trying to stay alive in this series while the Devils are trying to uh, eliminate the Rangers, uh, their biggest rival in four games in round one. Let's see what will happen here. First period, and Jarvanen scores early to make it 1 nothing, And then Andrea scores, making it 2 nothing. All right, then. So the Rangers, the desperate team, going up by two early on right here. Uh, power play for the Rangers again here, getting a lot of power plays. Uh, Devils have the shot lead, but can't buy a goal right now. A late one for the Rangers. Our Devils would be huge there. Another power play for the Rangers. Good God. So it's 2 nothing Rangers after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 13-13. They got goals from Andreas and Jarvanen. Second period in game four. And Gorlou scores, cuts the lead to one. So that's a big goal there. Power play for the Devils. And we don't convert on that, unfortunately. Power play again for the Devils. And Sealy scores to make it 2-2. There we go. Power play again for the Devils right here. Now we're getting the power plays here. <laughs> Five minutes left to go. And then Leclerc scores, making it 3-2 for the Rangers. And then Lang scores to tie the game. Oh, boy. So it's 3-3 after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 27-22 for the Devils. Gurlou, Sealy, and Lang all with the goals there to tie the game. And then Leclerc made it 3-2, but like I said, Lang would score like right after that to make it 3-3. Third period in Game 4. Power play for the Devils here. They don't score on that. Uh, 15 minutes left to go here in the third period of play. And Johansson scores one from very far out with 10 minutes left to go here in the third period. Power play for the Rangers. And nothing to show for it right there. Five minutes left to go here in the third period. And with that, the New Jersey Devils will sweep their rival in the first round of the playoffs with a 4-3 win. Very nice. Three stars of the game. Grolu with the first star. Johansson with the second star. And Andreas with the third star. Very nice. As point-wise here, Baumgartner, Grolu, Johansson, and Mercier with two points. Graves, Sealy, Marks, Lang all with a point. Very nice. <laughs> All right, as that's huge, we get a nice little bit of a, we get a nice few days off here. Uh, wait for the other series to end. All right, I think we were the only series that swept. Yep, we were. All right, all right. In the next round, we play the Detroit Red Wings. All right, so it's the Red Wings in round two. So in the round two, it's the Devils Red Wings. 
Panthers, Blue Jackets. Um, oh, and we're going to have a new cup champion. The Predators are out. Uh, the Coyotes, Kings, Flames, and Golden Knights. All right, so let's take a look at what we're dealing with here in Detroit, shall we? So let's go to see what they got here. So the Detroit Red Wings have the following. They have Lindman, Mir Mironov, Dufferson. Uh, Duffers, 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 I don't know how to say his name. Uh, Klotz, Beagle, Grant, Granado, uh, Aginla, Ling, Murray, Granton, uh, Flat, Flathurry, and Osborne. Defense, they got Ro Rossell, Skinner, uh, Repic, Locke, Lundell, Peterman. <laughs> Peterman! And in goal, they got Al, uh, Al Tonin and Pope. All right, do we have anything scratched? They are, yeah, but they got a, a healthy team here. So, all right, so this could be close. This could be an inch, this could be a close matchup. So we'll see how this goes here. So here we go. So game one at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. Uh, yeah, we're going up against the Red Wings again. We have actually played them in one of our runs last time uh, in the playoffs. So we'll see. Um, how this goes so here we go so first period in game one of the second round and Murnov scores first for the Red Wings it's one nothing Detroit all right so they get the first uh first first strike there and Dolan will score tying the game very nice Dolan ties it it's 1-1 and then Grebish uh Grebishkov scores and then Goro scores making it 3-1 Devils dang two back-to-back -back quick ones there for the Devils so it's 3-1 Devils after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 12 to 10 for the Devils as we got one from Dolan, Grebishkov, and Gorlu, and they got one for from uh, Miranov. All right, second period in game one. Power play for the Red Wings here, nothing to show for there. Power play for the Devils, nothing to show for there. And uh, Ray scores, or Riaz scores, making it 4-1 Devils. 10 minutes left to go here in the second period. Power play for the Devils again. It's a long one too. But nothing to show for it on that one. All right, power play for the Red Wings, and nothing to show for it. So it's four-one Devils after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 23 to 17 for the Devils as they we got one from Riaz. It's that gives us a three-goal lead after two. Third period here in Game One of this series. 15 minutes left to go here in the in the period. 10 minutes left to go here in Game One. And with that, the Devils remain undefeated in this in this playoffs as they lead one nothing in this series against the Red Wings. Three stars of the game: Brodziak with the first star, Farmer with the second star, and Grebishkov with the third star. Point wise here, Farmer and Johansson with two points. Uh, Grolu, Dolan, Mercier, Silly, Silly, yeah, Silly. Riaz, Marks, and Grebishkov all with a point in this one. Are the Canucks the best tanking team in the sim? No. No, they are not. Oh, what's up, Max? How's it going, by the way? All right, so game two at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. Devils took the first game of this series, looking to go up two games to none in this series, while the Red Wings looking to try to tie the series, heading back home to the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit, Michigan. Let's see what happens here in game two. First period, and Lindman scores early. 1-0 Red Wings. First shot, first goal. Power play for the Red Wings. Nothing to show for there. Another power play for the Red Wings there. It's a long one, too. It's a very long one. They don't score on that. And uh, Grolu scores, making it 1-1. Very nice. That's a big goal there by Gro Gro or Gorlu right there. Very nice. <laughs> so it's 1-1 after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 11-10 to 10 for the Red Wings as we got goals from Lindman and Grolu. Second period in Game 2 of this series. Power play for the Devils right here. Nothing to show for there. And Baumgartner scores, making it 2-1 for the Devils. Very nice. Ten minutes left to go here. Power play for the Devils again here. Power play for the Red Wings here. Uh, nothing to show for there. Five minutes left to go here in the second period. And Marks scores, making it 3-1 Devils. Hell yeah, brother. And it's 3-1 New Jersey after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 24-19 for the Devils. We got goals from Baumgartner and Marks. And that gives us a two-goal lead after two. Third period in this one. Power play for the Red Wings. 
Nothing to show for there. 15 minutes left here. And Riaz scores, making it 4 to 1. However, for the Red Wings again here. Nothing to show for. 10 minutes left to go here. And, uh, all right. Uh, Johansson scores, makes it 5 to 1 for the New Jersey Devils. And with that, Farmer gets another one, and it's a 6 1 final. 7 to 1 final now. And the Devils take game two of this series as they have yet to lose in these playoffs this year. Very nice. A 7 to 1 final. Very nice. The three stars of the game Grolu with the first star, Grodzak with the second star, and Johansson with the third star of this one. Uh, point wise, Grolu with three points, Lang with two, Johansson with two, Seeley with two, Riaz with two, Graves with two, Yoshi with one, Baumgartner with one, Farmer with one. Uh, Berlu, Berlu with one, Marks with one, Tons with one, Pavlik with one, and that's all she wrote. <laughs> Only uh, four players didn't, or five players didn't get a point in that game for us. Almost everyone had a point. Very nice. <laughs> all right. And we, apparently we've lost locker room chemistry after that win. Sure. <laughs> all right. Uh, game three in the, the Little Caesars Arena in Detroit. Michigan. Um, yeah, so we're up two games to none in this series. Looking to go up three games to none. Uh, but I feel Detroit's going to be a little bit desperate here and uh, show up here on home ice here. So we'll see what happens here. So first period. And Sealy scores first for the Devils. So it's one nothing New Jersey early on right here. And then Lang scores, making it 2 nothing for the Devils. My goodness. All right, 10 minutes left to go here in the first period. And then Tom scores, makes it 3 0 for the Devils. This team is absolutely just dominating right now. You love to see it. So it's 3 0 New Jersey after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 12 to 10 for the Devils as we got goals from Seeley, Lang, and Toms. Second period in game three. And Pavlik makes it 4 0 now. My goodness. Four goals on 15 shots, I think is what it said there. Very nice. Ten minutes left to go here in the second period of play. We have hit the 20-shot department here. All right. Power play for the Red Wings there. They don't get anything on that. So it's 4-0 after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 21-18 for the Devils. Pavlik will add on to the lead to make it 4-0 after two. Third period in game freaking three. All right. And I hope that doesn't happen next. <laughs> but since you said it, you're good at jinxing, so it probably will happen. <laughs> Five minutes left to go here in this one. And with that, the New Jersey Devils will win this one 4 nothing, as they are one game away to advancing to the Eastern Conference Finals. Three stars of the game, Brodziak with the first star, Lang with the second star, and Seeley with the third star of this one. Point-wise here. Lang with three, Celia with two, Moro with two, Toms, Marks, Pavlik, Yoshi, Doel, all with a single point. Very nice. Devils have yet to lose a game yet in these playoffs at the moment. <laughs> all right. So game four in the Little Seas Arena in Detroit, Michigan. The Devils are a game away to advancing to the Eastern Conference Final for the third time in four seasons. And the Red Wings are trying to Stay alive for another day. What will happen here first? Let's find out. First period in game four. All right. 15 minutes into the first period here. We have six, eight shots already. Holy smokes. And we now hit 10 shots here in the first period for us. And uh, Klotz will score first for the Red Wings. It's one nothing Detroit. They are the desperate team, so it makes sense that they will strike first. It just makes sense. So it's 1-0 Red Wings after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 12-6 for the Devils as Klotz will get the only goal so far as the Red Wings open up the scoring in Game 4. Second period here and Lindman scores making it a 2-0 lead. Yeah, it makes sense. The Red Wings are probably uh, the desperate team. They're going to get a lot of the shots. Uh, power play don't, doesn't go our way there. 10 minutes left to go here. Power play again for the Devils here. And is it gonna? Yeah, yes. Mercier scores, making it a one-goal game there. Five minutes left to go here in the second. It's a one-goal game now, here in the second period. All right, so it's two-one Detroit after one or after two. Excuse me. Shots are thirty-one to fifteen for the Devils as Lindman gives the Red Wings a two-goal lead, but then Mercier on the power play cuts the lead to one. Third period in 
this uh, game. And Gurlu ties the game there for the Devils. Big goal. And then Lindman gets the Red Wings back on top. Oh, man. And then Lindman with two goals. That's a two-goal advantage once again. Lindman with a hat-trick. Miranov scores. And, yeah, the the the, sh the, uh, the undefeated streak comes to an end, unfortunately, as we will lose our first game of the playoffs here in game four of the second round. All right, 5-2 final. And uh, three stars of the game. Lindman with the hat with the first star. Miranov with the second. And L Tonin with the third star of the game. Uh, Point-wise here, uh, Mercier, Johansson, Maru, Garulu, and Baumgartner all with a point. And that's that. Um, that would have been 7-7-0, seven, seven oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So game four. Five at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. So the Devils were unfortunate, unable to uh, finish the series off on on the road. So they're looking to try to do it on home ice this time. While the Red Wings trying to force a sixth game back home to keep the series going. So let's see what happens. First period in Game Five of this one. So let's see what happens here. Power play for the Devils here, and uh, Berlu scores on the power play. Power play again for the... And it's Sealy. Two back-to-back -back power play goals right there. And then Dolak makes it 3 nothing right there. Ten minutes left to go here in the first period. Five minutes left to go in the first. All right. So far, so good on this start and the start of this game. So it's 3 nothing Devils after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 12-7 to with the Devils as we got goals from Berlu on the power play, Sealy on the power play, and Dolak right after that. Second period in Game 5. All right, 15 minutes left to go, and Farmer makes it 4-0 for the Devils. Very good. Power play for the Red Wings right there. And Miranov cuts the lead to three. Power play for the Devils again. They don't convert on that. Okay, five minutes left to go here, and power play for the Devils again. Nothing to show for on that. All right, so it's 4-1 Devils after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 26-16 to for the Devils. Uh, Farmer makes it a 4-0 game, but then Miranov cuts it. Uh, to three after that and we are now in the final period of game five third period let's see how it, this one ends here uh, power play for the devils here uh, power play for the red wings here nothing to show for on either or another power play for the red wings that's killed off as well five minutes left to go here in game five and it looks like we are in the safe here as the New Jersey Devils are going to advance to the third round of the playoffs for the third time in four seasons with a 4-1 win. Very nice. Three stars of the game. Baradziak with the first star, Steely with the second star, and Mercier with the third star of this one. Point-wise here. Mercier with two points. Lang, Dolak, Pavlik, Graves, Johansson, Yoshi, Farmer, Baru, Steely, uh, and uh, Grolu all with a single point in this one all right very good very good and the current round of the playoffs is over as it's going to be the coyotes and golden knights in the west final and it's going to be the uh, panthers and the and the devils in the east final all right so let's take a look at what we're doing here or going up against here in round number uh three here the florida panthers have the following gianta little uh, uh, Veteral, I think is how you say it. Hemelanian, Jaeger, uh, Cooperman, uh, Finneganov, Potter, Bonnet, Cohen, Beta, and Brennan. On defense, they have Cooper. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, Joan, Su, Sharp, Wilkin, uh, Wilkinson, Oberg, and Jacobs. And in goal, they have. Uh, Vitale and Tolson. So they got pretty decent goaltending over there. Um, in Scratch, they have no injuries whatsoever. So, yeah. <laughs> so they could be pretty good. But I do feel still that our defense... Oops. That's the wrong one. I still think our defense is still way better. <laughs> so, that's just me. Because we have, a, we have 96, 90, 89, 86 on defense right now. So... I feel like our defense is hands down uh, better, so that's just me. <laughs> so, yeah, but we'll see what happens exactly here in this series. <clears throat> All right, 
So, game one at the Prudential Center in New Jersey. So, we are here at the East Final for the third time in four seasons. Looking to try to get back to the Cup Final for the third time in four years as well. So, we'll see what happens here. So, let's go. First period in game freaking one of the Eastern Conference Final. And Afinaganov scores first for the Panthers. It's 1-0. Uh, Panthers go on the power play again here. They don't score. Another power play for the Panthers here. They don't score on that. All right. All right, all right. And then Vettrell scores, makes it 2-0 for the Panthers. And then Bumgarner cuts the lead to 1. Very nice. Good response there. And then Gianta, unfortunately, makes it 3-1 right after that. So it's 3-1 Panthers after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 9-9 apiece. Panthers get three goals from Afinaganov, Vitrell, and Gianta, and then Baumgartner gets the only goal so far for the Devils. Second period here in game freaking one of the Eastern Conference Final. Devils have the shot lead, but they cannot seem to get one as the Panthers get another one. Makes it 4-1 for the four of the Panthers with 10 minutes left to go here in the second period. Devils can't seem to get any offense going right now. And it's 4-1 uh, four, uh, four, four, Florida after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 19-14 for the Devils. And Vettrell makes it a 4-1 game after two. Third period. And, th and that power play is killed off there, thankfully. Um, 15 minutes left to go here in this one. And Farmer scores, cuts the lead to two. Can the, pan the Devils still have enough in them? And Dolak cuts the lead to one. Heck yeah, that's good to see. Can we tie the game right here? Can the Devils tie it? That would be huge right here. And, the, and they do it. Oh, and Sharp will say no. as it's The Florida Panthers are going to take game one of this series. So the three, three stars of the game. Vitrell with the first star. Gianta with the second star. And Baumgartner with the third star of this one. Uh, Point-wise here. Dolan, Johansson. Maru, Farmer, Seely, Baumgartner, Mercier, Dolag, and Beru. All a single point. Unfortunate there. But hopefully uh, game two uh, goes a little bit better here for us. Not the best start of that one. So hopefully game two is way better. So we'll see what happens. So game two of the Eastern Conference Final. The Panthers took game one in this one. Giving the, the Devils their second loss in these, uh, these playoffs. Devils looking to try to... Uh, Bounce back after that. So let's see how this is will go. Will go. So here we go. And Bob Garner scores early, and then Cooperman scores two goals on their first shots in this one. And then Johansson scores, makes it two one for the Devils there. Okay, okay. And uh, Gianta scores, makes it two two. Oh boy, ten minutes left to go here in the first period. As this one's uh, a scoring affair. Power play for the Devils right here. Nothing to show for on that. And then Cooperman scores, making it 3-2 for the Panthers. My goodness. So it's 3-2 Panthers after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 10-9 for the Devils. We got goals from um, Cooperman. Two from Cooperman and one from Gianta. And then we got one from Bumgarner and Johansson for us. Second period in Game 2. Yuru scores to tie the game. It is now a 3-3 game. Cooperman with a hat trick there, making it 4-3. Power play for the Panthers here. Nothing to show for there. My goodness, this Panthers team does not stop scoring. <laughs> 10 minutes left to go here. And Gurlu scores, making it 4-4. It's a 4-4 game. And then Gionta scores, making it 5-4. Jesus. <laughs> Why can't we stop this team? It's 5-4 after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 23-21. For the Devils, as uh, Cooperman got one, Gianta got another one, and then Gurulu with two here for us. Third period. Can we uh, tie the game here? With how this game's been going, I'm going to say probably. <laughs> so let's see. Ten minutes left to go, and Dolan scores. There it is. Dolan with the tying goal. And then, <laughs> fucking damn it. Potter will score to give the Panthers the lead again. And then, ah, Beta will score, and that's probably going to do it. Damn it, the Panthers are going to go up two games to none in this series. That's unfortunate. Ah, damn it. Three stars of the game. Cooperman with the hat trick with the first star. Gurulu with the second, and Cooper with the third star. Point-wise here for us, um, Johansson, Gurulu, Mercier, all with three points. Lang with two. Dolan, Riaz, Baumgartner, and Baru all with a single point. Yeah, not great. <laughs> Do we have any injuries right now? I feel like because of all that, injuries might 
might have happened, but let me just make sure here. Nope, no injuries. Okay. That's a relief, at least. That's a relief. Alright. Down two games to none in this series, which is not ideal. <laughs> Alright, so game three in the BBNT Center in Sunrise, Florida. The Panthers are up two games to none. Devils need to wake up in this series. They cannot lose here in game three because then the, there's a big stranglehold in this series for the Panthers. Let's see if we can bite back here. First period in game three. Panthers on the power play early on. They get a long power. We get a power play right after that. Nothing to show for. Ten minutes left to go here in the first period. Five minutes left to go in the first period as the Panthers have a lot of shots. That's crazy. So it's no score after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 12 to 7 for the Panthers as it's a no score game after one. Second period in game three. And Farmer will score first for the Devils there. Very nice. As we got a lot of shots right there. Power play for the Panthers. And Potter scores on the power play. God damn it. And then Gianta scores another one on the power play. God damn it. Times two. Ten minutes left to go left here in the... Uh, Second period here as the Panthers are up by one. This Panthers team just seems to just answer back every time. And I hate to say it. It's annoying. Uh, so it's 2-1 Panthers after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 23-19 to for the Panthers. Potter and Gionta with back-to-back -back power play goals. It's Farmer with the only goal so far for the Devils. Third period. And the Devils tie it here. That would be nice. Come on. Somebody be a hero on this team. You gotta do it now. We cannot be going down three games to none. Power, or power play for the Panthers. Oh my goodness. And we cannot seem to beat this goalie. Bonnet scores and we're going to be down three games to one. Sorry, I mean three games to none, I should say. Oh boy. We have had no, no luck in this series so far. Three stars of the game. V-Tail with the first star. Pot with the second. And Gianta with the third star in this one. Uh, Point-wise, Farmer and Seeley all with a point, and that's it. We've had no nothing, we had, we've had no luck so far in this series. I'm gonna make, make some adjustments on the lines, I think. Might be for the best here. Just to get some sort of like, uh, chemistry going on here. Yeah, that's all we need to do. Just get some chemistry on the offense there. All right. Maybe a little help out. We'll see. So game four at the BB&T Center in Sunrise, Florida. The Panthers are a game away to advancing to the Stanley Cup final uh, with a win here. But the Devils would like to force a game five back on home ice and climb their way back into this series, taking it one game at a time. Can they spoil it? Let's find out here. First period in Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Final. Let's see here. It's very even right now. Nothing happening here. Ten minutes left to go here in the first period. Shots are even. Power play for the Panthers. They don't score. Five minutes left to go here in the first period. Very even game right now. Alright, so it's no score after 20 minutes of play. Shots are 13-11 to 11 for the Panthers. As we remain scoreless after one here in game four. Second period in this one. Even shots right now. Panthers and or Devils have the lead now in the shot department. Ten minutes left to go here in the second power play for the Devils. Nothing. Nothing to show for it on that. Five minutes left to go here in the second period here. And nobody finding any answers with offense. So it's no score after 40 minutes of play. Shots are 21 to 18 for the Devils as we remain scoreless after two. Third period in game four. Power play for the Panthers, nothing to show for their power play for the Devils, nothing to show for. Oh boy, 10 minutes left to go in the third period. This is a very close game. Power play again for the Panthers, nothing to show for there. Oh boy. As it's going to overtime with no score happening. My goodness, I don't think we've seen that before. That's crazy. So we get to go watch overtime hockey here with no score happening. <laughs> yeah, this this Panthers goaltender is shutting the door. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, so here we go. Overtime. 
overtime will tell overtime the story. here in game four panthers trying to overtime advance to the stanley cup final here. while the devils try to force a fifth game to stay alive Tries in this series and uses as the dolan <laughs> fighting right away. there the panthers have it now here come the panthers oh big hit right there nice Dolan, New playing it to his guy right there. Oh, that gets, he gets hit right there. Here's a chance for Gionta. Oh my goodness, there was he was alone right there. And there's a penalty coming to the pen, uh, the devil. Excuse me, that is not great. Ah, uh, that might have that might have been it. That might have been it. It's a five on three as well. Yeah, this might be over. Unfortunately, back to back two bad penalties right there. This one might be over, unfortunately. We might be seeing a sweep. If he's able to use his zone ability to generate a good scoring chance here, guys. Unfortunately. Unless we somehow zone. kill this off. <laughs> That's going to be a long, long kill. Here comes a chance here for Potter. Yeah, there it is. And it's over. The Florida Panthers are going to the Stanley Cup Final. The series wins become more and more valuable Damn. as you move along. <laughs> Unfortunate. This as the conference champions is an enormous feather in their cap. A lot of bottom lips need to be pulled up. We will not be go going the line, <laughs> to the cup final. You put everything into your but, hey, we've made it back to the cup uh, the East final the for the third, three, really three years, or third, third time in four seasons. So well, can't be upset about that. Gets unfortunately ran into a very hot Florida Panthers team right now. It's just, it's just dominating everybody, it seems. what's going to happen in the next series? Enjoy it. You won, man. And that'll do it from ringside, everyone. And Rasher was, Ray was timed out. <laughs> Get home safely. Thanks so much for joining us. A 1-0 final. All right, three stars of the game. Greg Potter with the overtime winner. Right there, boom. Second star was Cameron Brodziak, who did everything he could to keep this, <laughs> to keep his team alive in this series, but it was not meant to be. And Jeffrey Vital with the first star of the game. And we'd have nothing to show for it because we didn't get a single point. So nothing to see there, unfortunately. All right. And the Golden Knights also swept their series as well. So it's Knights. It's Golden Knights and Panthers in the finals. Let's see who wins the cup here. Golden Knights. Oh. And the Golden Knights are the Stanley Cup champions for 2044. All right. Let's take a look at the awards here for this season here, shall we? So let's take a look. So the Vegas Golden Knights uh, win the cup here in 2044. Uh, the President's Trophy winners were the Nashville Predators, who unfortunately could not go for three straight this year. Uh, Clarence Campbell Bowl Trophy winners were the Golden Knights. The Florida Panthers were the Prince of Wales Trophy winners. And yeah, that was that. Individual awards. Nystrom was the Art Ross. Hart Memorial was Nystrom. Andreas was the James Norris Trophy. Uh, Lawrence was the Lady Bing. Uh, Furchner Fert was the Calder. Consmith was Aho. Puka was the Vesna. Puka was the William M. Jennings Trophy winner. Alberts was the Bill Masterson. Brule was the Jack Adams. Nystrom was the Selkie winner. He was also the Ted Lindsay. And Gianta was the Maurice Rocket Richard. Well, that's the reason why we couldn't stop Florida, because they had the, the Rocket Richard winner on that team. So that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, in the AHL, the Barracuda win back to back Calder Cups. Um, Marley's won that. Marley's also won that. The Barracuda won that. The Admirals won that. The Barracuda won that. The Bridgeport Islanders won that. The Marley's won that. Uh, the Senators won that. And the Barracuda won that. Uh, individual awards. This guy won that. 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 And this guy. 
won that. So, there you go. That nice trim seems OP. He probably is. <laughs> it's just how it'd be. <laughs> but yeah, so... Yeah, so we only have like a three more seasons left to go with our file here, but I just want to see something real quickly here before we call the night here. Um, so we have a few plays. We got to definitely resign. Oh, John Johansson has to be resigned here. How much will he be asking here out of curiosity? Yeah, damn, that's a lot. Um, but we have nine mil there, eh? Graves. Okay. Well, he's not asking for that as much as I thought there, hey? Eh? That's actually okay. But yeah, we definitely won't be able to sign everybody there. That is for sure. We are definitely in a bit of a cap crunch right now. <laughs> that that is for sure. Because yeah, it's what we get when we when we have all these uh, defensemen. But we may need to uh, move one of them. I think. I think maybe uh, Riaz might be the one to go. He he dropped down tremendously overall wise. I think. <laughs> Even though he is the younger one, but he, he did drop a bit overall-wise. So that might be who we might have to do. Just to open up some cap space here, I think. So we'll look at the, uh, maybe at the trade, or the trade, the draft, maybe to move him. But I definitely would like to re-sign um, Johansson for sure. That, that That's... Definitely not something I'll do. Nine mil for three. I think will be a pretty reasonable contract for him. I think. Because he definitely took a big step for us this season. That's for sure. And Dolan under that contract for that lat long is actually kind of a steal, actually. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> that's actually kind of nice for him to be under that contract for for that long. So he had 37 goals, 29 assists. Damn, nice. He had a definitely a breakout year. That's for sure. You like to see it. But we still got a very good team. We can definitely still compete for the last few number of seasons for sure. I I, I think at least. Cup win or not, we can definitely compete for sure still for a good couple seasons here. Now if we can sign everybody, that'd be nice. But ooh, Tom's might be tough to sign, actually. Six mil for him, that that he might have to leave, unfortunately. Which is too bad because he fits us so well. We may need to try to keep him. But that's going to be tough to decide how to, uh, who the hell to get rid of even because, yeah, we have lots of good players. So that is going to be a tough one. But he is also asking for kind of an outrageous amount <laughs> as an 80 overall, but that's just me. On the next stream. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So I think I only. Yeah. So I probably only have time to do two seasons tonight because we went far for both of them. We went to the second round in the first one. Unfortunately, got eliminated, and then unfortunately we got swept in round three. Unfortunately. So, but I still think we can definitely compete. We just need to just decide who we're keeping in that. I because I, I still think this team can still easily make playoffs and such. So. Um, probably for the rest of the file too, because I think we only have like three more years we got left. So uh, we'll see if we can win a cup in any of those three years, and then thankfully this series will be over, and then I can uh, take a break from Monday streams for a little bit until, once this uh, once this ends. So yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I think with that, everybody, that will wrap it up for me today. Um, so yeah, so I thank you, everybody, um, for coming by tonight. I appreciate that. So um, yeah, um, we'll look to try to uh, do. We'll do. We'll do. We'll do more of it on Monday. I don't know if we'll do all three next Monday. Um, we'll just have to wait and see how uh, how fast things go. Really, right? So if we lose a year where we just don't do anything or just get eliminated we may just have to do all, all three but uh yeah tonight we'll just do the two seasons tonight and uh yeah we'll go from there on monday so yeah um but yeah next stream everybody uh we will be back here on thursday night for late night beatdowns i'll be doing um 100 orange juice and the game that you guys vote for through the viewers choice poll so make sure to vote for that when that goes up later this week for what gets played for that. On Friday, September 23rd, we'll be here with Day 7 of Persona 5 Strikers. As we'll pick up six more hours of that. As we'll pick up right where we left off on that on Friday or Saturday. So look forward to that. And then getting probably close to the end of it on Saturday, we'll be uh, here with Day 8. So, um, yeah. So look forward to that on Saturday night. Uh, Sunday, September 25th, we'll be here week 236 of Market Rate Deluxe. So if you have that, come on by as we play Market Rate Deluxe with you, the viewers like you. And then next Monday night here, September 26th, with part 11 of our NHL 22 franchise mode. Could be finale, or maybe we need one more stream. I'm not entirely sure exactly, but uh, yeah, we're getting close to the end of our file for it. So definitely look forward to that. So yeah. And yeah, that's what's coming up here. Excalibur's in the channel, all starting with their scheduled start times is here on the screen. Let's see then for that. If anything changes, I'll let me know my social media and Discord. And check my full schedule here on Twitch. Uh, you can check that out over at thegamingbeatdown.weebly.com slash schedule. And speaking of events, we have an event that's coming to you live Friday, October 14, 2022. It is the 11 year anniversary show yes i'll be celebrating 11 years of casting here on twitch tv and throughout the show there's gonna be a bunch of stuff that's gonna be happening such as the viewing of the highly anticipated top 50 moments video as we look back at the best moments that have in the past year of casting along with some honorable mentions there will be some news and announcements regarding the channel as well along with our award show poll winners that you guys can vote for right now every 24 hours you can vote for the polls so make sure to vote daily to get what you under better chance of winning all the categories and uh, you have until the 13th of October at 11 11 59 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to vote so make sure to get as many votes in by then and once again the anniversary show comes to you live uh Friday October 14 2022 at Pacific 8 p.m. on 9 p.m. Central 10 p.m. Eastern as we celebrate 11 years of freaking amazingness but yeah, with that, guys, that is it for today. So yeah, so thank you everyone for coming by. We'll be back next Monday for more of our NHL 22 franchise mode of the New Jersey Devils. Probably getting close to finishing it up for sure. We either will finish it up or we'll need one more stream. It just depends how the seasons go from here on out. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, if you're new and you enjoyed tonight, make sure to follow the channel. Click on the follow button found up above, down below, wherever it may be for you. And if you like the state of the life here on Twitch, you can follow me on social media, such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Steam, Discord, or my website over at thegamingbeatdown.weebly.com. And if a trip has broadcast, I have a secondary YouTube channel over at youtube.com slash tgbdarchives. This is why I upload on my past streams in their full glory. So if you miss a stream or not catch a past broadcast at your own time, that's what you can check out over at youtube.com slash tgbdarchives. And if you watch this on YouTube, make sure to get the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it part 10 of our nhl 22 franchise mode of the new jersey devils also make sure to subscribe to get more past broadcasts and play these also follow the twitch channel which is in the description down down below so, so you can watch the live streams live before they get uploaded to youtube and last but not least um if you like to support my channel with donations as ways you can first use through my paypal donation box this is of course for the channel's games catch versus consoles equipment and other good stuff I know another way to my design by human store. We can purchase yourself a freaking amazing MV Done t-shirt and our TGBD swag or designbyhumans.com slash shop slash the gaming beatdown. And also, if I don't have physically or digitally, I also have an Amazon Steam wish list, which, is, which you can find links to provide down below. But if you also like to support my channel with being a subscriber, is one of us an option to be a sub on my channel. And by being a sub, you get benefits such as emotes using my channel and all around on Twitch. There's no sub badge by name, and the more you resub, the better badge money becomes. You do get benefits in my Discord server, shout out once a month at the end of the month of my channel, and much, much more. You can use your 499 
999, 24.99, or even Twitch Prime. But as I said in the past, subscribing is always optional to do. So if you wish to sub to me, feel free to, but you never have to. You just being here, keeping the chat active about the cast helps the most out of anything. And if there's any bits and shares, you can find more information in the description run down below, along with the sub button box, links in the PayPal nation box, designed by Human Store, the Amazon, and Steam wish list. So if you're feeling generous, those are the ways you can contribute to the channel to get even more freaking amazing. All right, so before we end things, everyone, we're just going to find a raid target here. If I got someone today, I'm just going to go and throw a raid their way. So just give me one moment here, and we'll find someone. So, yeah. Um, Grady's live. Yeah, let's go give Grady a raid. I think he'd appreciate the raid. Oh, I uh, copied his link to his channel wrong here. Just give me one second here. There we go. That's a lot better. So, yeah. So, if you guys can come on by for a raid with me, that'd be awesome if you can do that. All you gotta do is copy the raid messages that you see here in the chat. If you are a subscriber, copy the sub message. If you're a non sub, copy the non sub message and just paste it in his channel and just let him know I'm sending you guys over to a stream. And that'll be very much appreciated if you guys can do it for me before you head out for today. But on that note, though, that is it. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for coming by tonight. Bit of a shorter stream, but yeah. I kind of had to do this some, it was sometimes on Monday nights. So, um yeah but we'll be back next monday as i'll uh, continue more of this as we only have three more years left can we win a cup in one of those three years that is to be determined we'll have to find out on that so yeah um but i'll be back on thursday night guys for late night beatdowns i'll be doing oj and the game that you guys vote for through the polls so make sure to vote for that when that goes up later on during the week so yeah uh, but with that being said, that is it. So thank you, everybody, for coming by. I appreciate that. Thanks for the follows, raids, hosts, bits, cheers, subs, resubs, donations. I appreciate it. But most important, thanks for being here because that's what matters to me the most. So until next time, guys, uh, this has been Eddie from The Gaming Beat Done Sings Along, and have yourselves a great night, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>